because I, I know Cutthroat, I know all these other groups, I know I know Folio, I know the PC, I know all these other groups, yeah. man. I've been doing this a long time. Mm. You have put yourself in a situation that you need to get out of. Mm. You need to remove the Young and Yang and the Ace and, and all these names out of this room. Because when you put yourself in that situation, and I look at those other non rap groups and I look at you, you're all the same. And bro, you're talented. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm gonna be honest, your video is better than everybody else's. Breaking overnight, Jacksonville police have arrested the only surviving victim of the quadruple shooting that happened near the St. John's Town Center earlier this week. Police say Kenyanta Bullard, who is also known by his rapper name Young and Ace, is charged with violation of probation. Last October, Bullard was sentenced to 31 months probation after appearing before a Clay County judge and pleading no contest to accessory after the fact. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name's Drip Drop, and I'll be your host as always. I'm going to have a seat, try to get you some water or something, all right? Yeah. What's that? Lean forward, huh? Hold your hands. A glass of water or something. <coughs> All right, we'll be right back, okay? Hello? I'm going to read your rights to you, okay? I need you to understand. You, know? you have the right to remain silent. You understand that? You have anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You understand that? You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you're being questioned. Do you understand that? If you cannot afford a higher lawyer, one would be appointed to represent you for questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand that? Okay. Um, so you understand each of the rights I've explained to you. Is that a yes? Yes, sir. Okay. And having these rights in mind, you wish to talk to me at this time. I can explain everything to you. Okay. Um, I know you've made some statements and want to know why you're here. So, mm -hmm. Why do you think you're here? I don't know. That's why. You have no idea? No. Unless you have come to question me about why my brother's in jail or my best friend. That's Is that DeAndre? Yeah. Okay. Um, you're here for a number of reasons, Kenyatta. I mean, you've had a talk before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of things have happened since the last time me and you talked. Mm -hmm. Remember, I told you before that, that it, it's not going away. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be continued to be investigated. And you remember what we talked about before? Yeah. Okay. Well, we've continued to investigate that, and that's why you're sitting in this house today, and in, in my house today. That's why you were put handcuffs this morning. That's why the Clay County Sheriff's Office went to your apartment. Um, there's a lot of things I want to talk to you about. I need you to be honest with me. Okay. Now is the time. Today's your day. You need to understand that. Yeah. It's not going to be tomorrow. We do. We have arrest warrants for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You get a chance to talk to myself and Detective Anderson today. Mm -hmm. And anything that needs to be cleared up, any, any, any information that you feel like that we need to know about, whether it involves yourself or any of your boys, mm -hmm. today's the day. You're not going to get another opportunity. Because there's a lot that you can help you can help us with, and help us understand. Um, but I also know there's a sense of loyalty to your boys. I, hey man, I know you better than your mama knows you. But since you walked out of this office last time, you have been my primary focus. The, the sheriff of Clay County has told Detective County you don't do nothing else but the young and game. 
So I know you and I know everybody you're associated with better than y'all know yourselves probably. Mm -hmm. And if I felt like I was wasting my time sitting in this room talking to Ken Otter Buller, I wouldn't be in here. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this a long time, bro. Um, I know you've been very cordial, very, very respectful on traffic stops. Mm -hmm. I know that when you come in contact with law enforcement, whether it be the poker room or anywhere else, that, that everybody I've talked to says, man, he's that kid, really? Yeah. Because you've always been that way. Today you were that way. Yeah. That's right. So if I felt like I was wasting my time sitting in this little bitty room talking to County Board, I wouldn't be here. We just book you in the Clay County Jail, be done with you. Yes, and you just have to face court and, and all that stuff. Um, I didn't afford DeAndre Thomas the same opportunity. I didn't afford Sedarian Samuel the same opportunity mm -hmm. because I don't have no interest in talking to them because they don't have the persona. They don't have the, 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 they just haven't been raised. I can tell the way you've been raised to be respectful. Um, so I, I'm not interested at this point. Um, so that's why I'm here talking to you. Because I have a feeling that you're going to do the right thing. Um, yeah, is it going to sting a little bit? It might, because it's hard to tell the police when you've done wrong. But I also know, and I'm just going to go ahead and take you. Know, I mean, you post a lot of stuff on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I know some stuff's been weighing on your heart. I, I can see that. I've been doing this a long time. I've looked at people, other people's Facebooks that have been involved in some crazy stuff. And they don't really post much or they don't talk about you. The stuff's been weighing on your heart. I can tell just by some of the stuff you put. I know you're talented. Mm, yeah. Okay. I'm not stupid. I have many views on my song. 400, over 400,000, 49 yeah. states and three countries. Yeah. I, I do my homework, bro. Yeah. I know you're talented. I saw a little video of the top 10 rap artists in Jacksonville. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. You've put yourself in a position because I, I know Cutthroat. Yeah. I know all these other groups. I know, I know Folio. I know the PC. I know all these other groups, yeah, man. I've been doing this a long time. Mm -hmm. You have put yourself in a situation that you need to get out of. Mm -hmm. You need to remove the Young and Gang and the Ace and, and all these names out of this room. Because when you put yourself in that situation, and I look at those other non-rap groups, and I look at you, you're all the same. And, bro, you're talented. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm going to be honest. Your video is better than everybody else's. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm a country fan. Mm -hmm. I like country music, but I appreciate I like, music. I like a lot of country music. Yeah, I appreciate music. I mean, you know, if you appreciate music, you got to, hey, I grew up in the era of, of <laughs> golly. <laughs> did, you, did you see the movie Boys in the Hood? Mm -hmm. The one that just came out? No. Easy E. Oh, the Compton I'm talking about the, yeah, oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see that movie? Yeah, I seen that. That's the era I grew up in. I grew up playing basketball right here in Clay County. Mm -hmm. I went to Blue and I went to college and played basketball. But the people I played basketball with, we listened to Easy E, we listened to LO Cool J, we listened to Ice T. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in an era, so I appreciate music. So, yeah, some white bread boy like me from Middleburg listens to the young E, go to war. You know, yeah. you would think, man, he's just, I see, I see yeah. the talent. I mean, I do. Yeah. And when I look at your video versus the other nine, I know yeah. you have talent. But can you have a good understand something, bro? There's a difference between living that dream and living that dream. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, I'm a, I'm your little your little disclaimer down there that all these guns are props. Come on, man. Yeah. I've got one of those guns. Right here. Click on the sheriff's office. Own, now owns one of those guns that was in that video. Okay. You know what's going Because y'all missing it. And we own it. Okay? So these are the kind of things that I need to talk to you about. There's a whole, there's a huge bigger picture than getting out of order. There's a bigger picture. And today in this room, if you cared about your little brothers and your mama, you would do the right thing. Because like I told you, it's going to sting a little bit. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not gonna, I, that's one thing I will not do in this room. If you ask me a direct question, if I have the answer to it, I will not lie to you and I expect the same respect. If I don't know the answer, I'm going to take you. Know, I don't know. But I'm not going to lie to you in that room because I don't expect you to lie to me. So that would kind of be an asinine for me to lie to you. So, yes, we have warrants for your arrest. Yes, it's going to sting a little bit. But but you're, the, but tomorrow's another day, correct? Mm, I got but, you. but today is the day we get all this off your chest. Because I know it's been bothering you, bro. I've been reading your Facebook post. you got you got a heavy heart. If you didn't have a heavy heart, you wouldn't be as talented writing songs, correct? I like I love making songs. Because your other song that you got on YouTube... Kind of, I guess you wrote it after your girl or for your girl. Like yeah. yeah, I like making music like that. I only make music like go to work because I know it'll be a good attention grab like everybody. Else. Like that's what people like to listen to. So that's why mm -hmm. I was like, all right, let me go make this. Song. Do you know anything about Marilyn Manson? 
Marilyn Manson. You know anything about him? No. You know he's a, he's he, he's a he wrote all this strange music. He wears the makeup, like devil worship and stuff. No, I, Do you know he's a he's a genius? Yeah. He is does not believe that, does not think that. He does that because he knows that makes money. And he's a multi 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 millionaire, mm. and he does crazy stuff. People think he is the devil, mm. but if you if he if you see him in an interview without the makeup on, just normal, he's a genius. Yeah. So I get it. Sometimes you know what. Yeah, but here's the problem with your tunes. You lived it. You not only wrote the song. I don't know if it drew attention to y'all that y'all didn't need to know, didn't need to have attention from other groups. Wait, what? Like that "Go to War" song. I don't know if you drew attention from other rap groups in Jacksonville that negative attention, but but you kind of lived it at the same time. The "Go to War" video, the Young and Game was kind of at war. Well, um, it's not. That's not why I wrote this song. No, that's not why you wrote it, but I think when you wrote it, you put it on YouTube, I think it drew some negative oh, attention. to put people around it. Yeah, I oh, think okay. some other groups yeah, I, got I, jealous I, I, and saw how you ruined yeah, the like war. All over the world, people, I'm like, oh, this, this, No, I'm talking about locally here in Jacksonville. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, it's all over the world. I'm going to say it blunt, you pissing people off. Yeah, I've I, 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 I been looking at some comments and stuff. Like, no, I'm not really Well, it's not only comments. No, it's I'm, what you drew to Orange Park. It's what came here. Yeah, I know. I'm saying, it's, it's people. Your own boy got shot and ended up in the hospital. Yeah, I know. I seen. Yeah, I was. You right, were there. Yeah, I was right next to him. You were there. I know. I know. And when the detectives got there, they said, "Who did it?" I know. And y'all said, "We don't know." But yeah. you knew. I don't know. I, I swear to God, I promise. I want to. I promise. I'm trying yeah, to remember this. what I told you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. To you. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through a lot of stuff today. Yeah. Okay. And I want to have some stuff. Where this is gonna be almost like a show and tell too, because I know you're the type of person that I can sit here and we can have a 24 hour conversation. Kiana's, you're like Missouri. Show me. Because the last time I talked to you, y'all, you, you talked. So there's, this is going to be show and tell. This is going to be kind of a different situation for you because I'm going to bring my laptop in here and I'm going to show you them some things today right. that you're going to have to explain. All right. yes, sir. Because if you don't explain it, guess what it's going to make you look like? This hardened, gang banging thug yeah. that doesn't have any thoughts of life itself. So I'm going to bring it in. We're going to look at it. We're going to talk about it. And you're going to be, and there's going to be some situations that I'm probably going to have to let you get a minute because it's going to be shocking. But I know you're the type of person that, like I said, we can talk for 24 hours. And if I don't show you, you're going to have a hard time telling me about it. Okay. But I'm going hey, I'm not mad at you. Remember what I told you before? I don't judge you. I've already, I've already told you. I recognize the talent. Okay. And so did a lot of the other detectives are all kind of like, man. Why couldn't the right person get a hold of these knuckleheads and yeah. steer them in the right direction? Yeah, my, that's my brother. My big brother trying to do that to me. Who? Which one? Uh, his name Mark. Mark Jefferson. Yeah, that's my. Yeah, he been. Uh, he been. Remember, I know more about you than yeah. you probably know about yourself. I could probably educate you on some things. You'd scratch your head and be like, "Hey, I didn't even realize that." Yeah, he. Uh, that's why we were trying. To, lately, I've just been working like on music. Like I've been trying to write, write, write. Because there's a lot of people. There's a couple of labels that try to sign me. I don't want to get. I want to get signed, but I don't. So like, so why, let me just educate me a little bit. Why? Why wouldn't want to get signed? <laughs> like I don't know. Like I heard. Like I heard. Like a lot of people say. Like like the deals be like. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like you gotta do something. Do. So you you, you kind of like an ownership thing. Yeah. Once you sign, they own everything. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't know that. I own me wearing dresses. Like they got. Like young dog. You want him wearing dresses? And stuff. Lately, I've just been working, working. We've been trying to shoot a video. Working on a video. I've been trying to shoot videos. I was what video are you shooting next? Um, I was going to shoot a song so called Say Song. So my buddy got shot. Wait, who's DeAndre, your buddy? Mama? DeAndre. Oh, DeAndre. Yeah. I made, made a song with him. I just, I, I told my brother I want to make like, you know, more go to work songs because. It drew a lot of damn that's, attention. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm and, and, and which I, also drew the attention of the Clay County Sheriff's yeah, Office. That's why I told my brother, my brother's talking to me, man. That's why I was like. I mean, do y'all realize the day y'all, okay, the day y'all turn the cameras off and it's a wrap, it's good, get it out. Do y'all realize what y'all did? No, I, I, that's my brother's talking. Not only did you draw gangs like the PCE and Cutthroat and all these people drew attention, mm -hmm. you drew attention to the biggest gang in the United States. Law enforcement. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I talk to my brother. He told me, don't, like, no, I said, don't, don't make song. I, I don't really like making song like that. I just made it because I just knew it'd get a lot of people. You, you pulled a Marilyn Manson. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, uh, 
it was yeah, I get it. Yeah, it I was would. something that you saw that yeah, it, would, I just, it would get I you just, right there. I just knew, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And once I did that, I can not come with, you know what I'm saying. Other stuff like all I need, like baby, like I like making song like that because like I don't know. That's you're, just me. You're, you're a singer. You know what I'm saying? Because I noticed on the video a lot of other guys had yeah. parts. You're more of a singer. Yeah, I don't see. I don't like making music like that, so I don't. You know what I'm saying? So I like me like regular people. Music people could just make people listen to music. When people listen to music, it's just I don't know. They listen to music for different reasons. Right. Like, right. So I don't want to be the reason that people just you know what I'm saying go out do this and you know what I'm saying. So I rather make music to change. You know what I'm saying? Change if I can or around it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like, I like making music, but that's, that's what I want to do. That's what I be trying. That's why lately I just, I only go in the studio. Well, and, I, and, and, I, and I saw that too, but I'm going to be honest with you. Trey ain't coming home. D ain't coming home. Ain't coming home. You know? Ain't coming home, bro. I ain't coming home. And there's a chance you ain't coming home. But I'm, you're getting afforded an opportunity today that they didn't get afforded. You ever heard the terminology, you cut that snake off at the head, the body quivers? Yeah. You're the, you're the head, bro. You are the reason why the Clay County Sheriff's Office is focused on the Young and Gang. You want that focus off of the Young and Gang? Today's the day. Because we're not done. This isn't over. We just cut the head off of the snake. There's some other people out there right now that are sitting, lying in wait, and there's detectives ready to pounce. I but we wanted you here to talk to you to find out when you wanted the bleeding to stop. Right. Because, it, they, like I said, it's going to sting a little bit. It is. I ain't going to lie to you. We got, you mean, you we got arrest warrants for you. You don't have to go to jail. And you don't have to answer for what you did. And we're going to talk about some other things. And you're probably going to have to answer for some other things, too. But you know what? Nice. At the end of the day, tomorrow's another day. Yeah. But here's here's what you got to realize. The Young Gang has some success. There's members that, that are involved in your music. Yeah. And I only call it Young and Gaming because that's what you call it. Yeah. But there's people involved in your music that are still walking the streets. Yeah. The, the, this can be, this this can still be a future for you. I got a question. Yeah. Why you got a question for me? We'll talk about it. I'm just not going to come to your house with a SWAT team. And yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. We have search warrants for your house. Yeah, I knew, I, I knew. I seen that sound, I woke yeah. up. Everybody's screaming. Yeah. Like, um, Crazy. But we're all talking, and, and, and you know what? Yeah. You know, all you got to do come on, one police, I'm coming out. Come on. Yeah. That's just not, I ain't the person that be, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to sit there and talk crazy. So let's talk about this. Having all this information at hand, and you know what we talked about before, what do you think when you're here? <coughs> what is going through your mind? The music. The music. You think that the Clay County Sheriff's Office used a SWAT team to serve a search warrant on your house and arrest you because you made a music video? Yeah, somebody, somebody told me I could do it. Yeah. That, that prompted an investigation. But remember what I talked to you about before? About that thing that happened in the apartment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we didn't stop investigating. Mm -hmm. There's people that have that provided information yeah. that you're going to be surprised about. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you got to understand this. Just like you're in this room today, when somebody gets put in a position where they got to take care of number one, they take care of number one. They're going to spill it because everybody kind of has this fight or flight syndrome. We talk about that a lot, where you're either gonna kind of back up and punch up, oh no, no, I'm gonna be 100, I ain't gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Well then you kind of figure what's gonna happen to you. Or you get the syndrome like, oh, 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 I didn't do this shit, but let me tell you who did it. And they start providing information, minimizing their involvement. I know they lied to me. I know these people probably lied to me. They didn't tell me the whole truth, but they gave me parts of the truth. Let's just put it that way. But there's people that provided some information involving that case at, at Crossings Boulevard, that shooting, that you'd be shocked. You follow this chair right now. And we're going to go over some of that. Like I said, you know, I was a show me kind of guy. I know that. Don't just tell me. I got to see it. But it would be in your best interest if you were just honest about it, to be honest with you. Yeah. I, you know, I know. I so what happened? When? I know you went to Unique's house. You asked Unique where you could score some green. He called his boy and sent you. No. I got two people IDing you and DeAndre at the apartment. No. So just be honest and tell me what happened. No, I already, I already told you. I already, I already told you what happened with me. Well, let's rehash it. He's supposed to give me some money. 
Yeah, he owed you 50 bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He paid you. No, I didn't have go. I didn't go get it. I already told you that. I didn't well, he said you came and got it. That's, I mean, see, this is the problem we're going to have is before I brought you in, we talked and yeah. you, know, you gave me your side of the story. Yeah, I know. And I know somewhere there's this side of the story and this side of the story and somewhere in the middle lies the truth. Yeah, you know. So we didn't have an arrest warrant for you. Yeah. We brought you in because I wanted to talk to you. Yeah. We talked. I've kicked you loose. Okay. Yeah. Now your boy Sedarian's went to jail. Let's let's rehash this. Yeah. But your boy Sedarian's went to jail. Yeah. Exactly. The entrees went to jail. Yeah. We yeah. have unique. I, I told I told you I ain't I ain't never gonna get no money from you. Remember, okay. remember he said I drove my car to go get it. Mm -hmm. I didn't never go get it. Okay. I told you to pull the cameras up. All right. Night, so so let me that, let me ask you this. If I was able to bring some evidence in and show you some evidence, okay. you mean you talk, be straight? You need anything to drink? Yeah. You drink soda in the morning, water, what do you drink? Okay. I mean, you just woke up out of bed, man. I, I want to make you as comfortable as you can. If you're thirsty, I'll get you something to drink. Okay. You need a snack? Okay. You're good? Okay. You don't want anything? Sure. I mean, I'll bring it to you. No, no, no problem. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go grab my laptop. Now, let's make a gentleman's agreement. If I bring some stuff in here and I set it down and we go through it, you gonna be honest with me? I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm being honest. I'm being honest with you. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Because, you know, it's, 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 I, today's the day, bro. I hate when you do that. Honestly. Okay. All right, we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. By the way, sir, I know you're kind of concerned about it. I don't know if you think that anybody was hurt, and we have fire rescue there for just precautionary purposes. All right, here's here's what's going to happen. I'm going to play you some some cuts of some tapes, um, of some people talking. They're kind of hard to hear, um, but I think you'll recognize voices. Um, I'm not going to play it entirely to you. There's no need to. I'm going to let you hear a little bit. You, you're, you're a smart guy. If I feel like you had a, a low IQ, this is just me trying to get it on my laptop. Um, I felt like you had a low IQ. We have, I'd probably play a little bit more, but bro, you're smart. You know exactly what time it is. You, you know what's on these tapes. Um, you know, like I remember what I told you, sometimes people to get in situations where they're incarcerated and there's no way for them to go. And the only thing they can do is take care of themselves and not, and this is brothers, sisters, husbands, wives. I mean, this, this don't have any, um, bias on who they take care of. I'm 
get some speakers and make it a little louder. Yeah. Peace to my Let's listen to him. So this is a series of conversations between, I want you to tell me who that voice is. You recognize anybody's voice? Anybody's voice? I can't hear. I think you have a lot of Yeah, there's a lot of background. There's a couple segments on here that there's no background. Late at night kind of stuff. Can you tell me I got a restaurant though? We'll talk about it. And you're, you're going to figure it out, listening to this. I'm going to work things. No, sir. You've been, how long have you been working at Orange Park Furniture? Since March. What do you do up there? Just moving stuff around? Or? Yeah, we put stuff together. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, when you buy something that like, you know, like a shelf or something, you got to put that somebody's going to I'll leave my, I bet you're a damn professional. I always say, if you did this every day, you'd put them together quick. Yeah. I, I still be like, I don't know. It's instructions. So. But I some of the stuff you probably know. Yeah, though. like I mean when you say like put stuff together, I mean like you just gotta screw it got screws, so you just screw it and you screw that but like like the council is you put the council. Oh, okay. Little well, stuff like yeah, that. Like, 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 like big entertainment like, centers. Like it's it's some stuff like that, but like I don't I don't sit down and let me do like stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really like I don't know. I haven't worked like that. As long as them, a lot of them, they all, a lot of them are real talented with all this stuff. I ain't never knew. Just a lot of stuff that I learned, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How long you been working there since March? Yeah. yeah. They so, take care of you pretty good? Yeah. I used to, uh, my boss, Mr. Helmut, I think he's real, real old. Um, he's a company me out here money. He liked me so much. He used to come me out Like, I started with two other people. But, I got started with two other people. Over. Over there. Then, uh, in the army right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the army, I started with him, but then he fired all them. I'm, I'm the last one he kept. He said he liked me. Uh, he picked me up every morning for work. Like I have a ride. Like, he picked me up every morning, but sometimes I couldn't go to work because I had no ride. Because my license. Yeah. They put me over to the jail because I my license. You got that trait? Yeah. I, I, he, I'm give, I just got him back, but yeah, I just got him back. So. That car is pretty beat up now. It looks like it's been through the man, ringer. I, that's what happened when yeah. I, I, I'm so nice, man. I let all my brothers, all everybody drive my car all the time. Like, what happened to your mirrors? They're like duct tape. That's what I'm saying. I, I used to, I, look, me, when I was little, I always, I always try to drive everybody's car. Everybody like, no, 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 no. And I was like, I get my car. Who else want to drive? You know what I'm saying? I can drive. I used to let everybody drive my car. Everybody. Hmm. Everybody. So what happened here? You guys yeah, you walk out one day, your mirror's are laying Man, on the ground. I'm talking about everything, and, I, and like it's like bullet holes all up in it. I'm trying to tell you, I'm like, man, I come. Like, I, the only thing I be worried about, I'm like, man, how I'm going to spend this to my mama? I know how my mom made up my mom. So my, I mean, so what brothers were driving when the mirrors got knocked off? When the mirrors knocked off, uh, I don't, I don't think uh they got knocked off. I think. But well, they're like duct taped yeah, on. Yeah, I think my brothers done ran into it. I used to live on Plainfield. My mm-hmm. brother ran into him. 
plan. They got all these plans. Like, I'm really big on that. Hmm. It almost looked like you got sideswiped. It's like, it, like you were parked in somewhere and somebody just ran up in your stuff and knocked the mirrors off and, and you try to duct tape them back on or something. I'd be having duct tape. You can get tickets for that, right? Yeah, you got them on there. I think the only mirror. No, I'm, I'm saying like, I'm saying like, if they all. I think the only mirror you're required to have is a rear view mirror, right? No. I gotta have side on one side. Uh, what is it? I, I have duct tape because I had. I think if they're in place and you can use them, you're yeah, good. You know that's what, what I'm saying. saying. I had duct tape. Duct tape them on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, we'll go through a couple of these. I'm gonna let you. Is that a little better? Yeah. Sounds spaced out. Yeah. It's kind of the same. One's probably a little better quality. Whose voice is that? Oh, yeah, I think I should do it to him. I'll see it. I guess it's it. How long are you talking about that right now? His voice is Who is that? 
Who do you think that is? I'm glad. The entree? Okay. What do you think he's told us? I don't know. He's talking about it. Mm-hmm. He's talked about it a lot. I got two discs full of conversations that he's had while he's been in the jail. Okay. We got arrest warrants for him too. So not only did the charges Duval County's put him in jail for, the Clay County Sheriff's Office has now put a hold on him because of the stuff he's told us on these tapes. What do you say? Okay, we'll get into that. But Kenny, you gotta understand something. I'm giving you an opportunity. If I have to give you, like you you go to the poker room, so yeah, you understand cards. Yeah, I start going to maybe they take out my money. <laughs> <laughs> I, get I get it, I get it. But you understand that if you're holding a hand of cards and I'm holding a hand of cards, and me and you were playing cards, and you and I have to show you all my cards. You, I mean, you understand that I'm not just going to show you all my cards. Right, I'm going to give you an opportunity to be honest with me. Yeah. So, what do you think he's told us? I don't know. He just looked like he was talking about death. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's you got to look at it. I mean, that's all conversations just on this disc. That's a 44 minute conversation. This is a 33 minute conversation. There's a whole another disc. Mm-hmm. Not to mention other stuff that I can act but I. I, for your benefit, I don't want to sit here and show you everything, and then you think, then you're like, because what? How's that going to benefit you? I, I, I can't, I can't go to the state attorney's office and say, or the judge and say, Keanu Bullard was honest with me because I had to show you everything. Of course, you had to be honest with me because it's here in black and white. Is that is that safe to say that? So my question is this: the, the shooting at Crossing Boulevard is one of the things I'm interested in of many. What happened? I told you. I'm saying, like, I don't know. Do you understand that the, the entree on these tapes is, is said exactly what happened? That's why we're sitting in our room having a conversation right now. Show a little remorse for you. He's told us. Do you have any remorse for what you've done? It's on tape, bro. He, he laid the whole thing out, how unique set of the robbery. How y'all left Unique's house and drove to these people's house because y'all robbed the read man. How he went to the front door and when the door opened, man, you oh, think oh, I got a gun. Shot at me. You think you're gonna shot at me and I'm going to jail? He's talking about John Tortorella, how he went to jail because y'all, but y'all shot at me. He, he lays out a bullet to me. Well, well, what the hell is You know they, you know you get a new nickname in these videos, in these audio tapes. They ain't gonna talk about me. I put on. They want the ball ring like they push you in now.
，没有怪来一个。来，你看这儿，我来一个，对，对，对，对，对。Oh, you're not just a gay guy from the drive time. Come on, talk about me. You just said your name. He ain't say my name. Give us some. Give me a new nickname, bro. Oh. He said his dogs. Keep listening. Today's not the day for that, bro. I promise to you, I'm not lying. This is just one little piece, man. That's what I'm saying. I promise to you. I swear to God, I promise to you. I'm like, I promise to you. Hey, I'm are, like, are you I'm, a religious man? Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't go to church. Okay, well, I do. But I believe in God, though. Okay, I do too. But I promise to you. I swear to God. I'm like, that's my. You can't swear to God on that. Hey, that's that. That's your boy. That's what he Running said. his mouth. That's what he said. That's what he, that's what he, that's what he, that's what he said he did. I swear to God, I promise to you. I promise to you. I promise to you. You know I'm not going to let you in. I promise to you. I know it hurts, bro. I, hey, look, man. I have a best friend. Okay? I promise to you. I promise to you. I'm not I, I know it hurts. I'm not even that type but of But you got to understand what he's sitting in there charged with. I know he's charged okay. with. I see him. So he's doing everything he can do what? to yeah. take care of number one. I know it, bro, bro. I know it hurts. You never think that your own dog, the road dog, guy that you with from day one, your boy. Now you might have a group of five or six friends that you're close to, but you're always closest to the one person. And it hurts. You never would think that one person would say the things he said, but he did. That's just the way it is. And, and I'm giving what he said. Keontae, you are in a position that he's not. I'm not giving him a, I'm not giving him an out. I'm not giving him a, a reason to talk. I'm not going to talk to him. Yeah, I know. I'm talking to you. I know. And the reason I'm talking to you because I've done my homework. You're a person I think I I feel like I can have a conversation with. I had a conversation with your mom. Okay, I know you go to work. You can that boy don't have no job. Okay, he ain't got the sense to have a job. That's why he's sitting in jail right now on murder charges because he ain't, he ain't got no sense. You got a job. Got You've been working since March. I got I've watched you at the poker room. You're you're mingling around them, all, all the older people. You're not disrespectful. Yeah, I'm not, you're not thugging that's out. What I'm saying. I don't do stuff. But you know what? Sometimes you make mistakes. Okay. Sometimes you end up with the wrong people at the wrong time. Things happen that are out of your control. Not even Kenyatta Buller can control. I get it. Things happen. But sometimes it's time to be a man and step up to the plate and say, you know what? Some shit went down. I wasn't cool with it. And you know what? He's my homeboy. I get it. First time me and you had a little conversation, if you would have just sat down and said, Detective Callum, let me tell you exactly what happened, how it happened, I would have been shocked. I get it. But sometime, Kenyatta, in life, it's time to be a man. It's time to step up and say, you know what? Some shit went down. I ain't down with that crap. 
I didn't know what was going to happen. I we went over there to get some, buy some weed, and this crazy fool started acting the way he acted. You know what? He's my boy, but you know what? He's told on. He's told it. Okay? So, and like I said before, you are the kind of person that you want to see. You want to physically lay your eyes and ears on it and, and, and know that what's going down. And I can play the rest of it. He gets into grim detail about what goes down and among a lot of other stuff that's happened. But the, today is the day that King Albert Bullard needs to step up and say, you know what, I'm a grown-ass man. I, know, I, know, I swear and, and you know what, I need to take care of myself because obviously DeAndre's taking care of himself. Sedarian's taking care of himself. And, and, and Sedarian's taking himself take care of himself for other reasons. No. Right. But now's the time that King Albert takes care of himself. <clears throat> If you didn't go to this damn apartment, you didn't shoot into this damn apartment, you need to tell me that. But if you were there, I need to know it. Because right now, All right. right now, the evidence suggests that you pulled the trigger your damn self. I promise, dude. I promise. I was not there. I promise I did not shoot. Kenan, you were I there. Never, I never shot anyone. Two people picked you out of a photo lineup. You're a disbanded stink with a kid, man. You're not somebody who can just walk down the street and a common citizen walk by you and not recognize you. I know everybody knows Two around. people picked you out of a photo lineup that were in that apartment that night. Unique's given us statements that you were at his house and he called John Tortorella, his weed dealer, and said he's sending his boys over to buy some weed. Okay? It's done. It's a wrap. This is what they call a nail in the coffin. Tell me this. Because this boy here is saying that you were one of the shooters. Tell me this. I don't know believe what I said. Because, because I'm the one who always... Who okay, always, here's, here's always why. why. Here's why. Here's why. Said. Okay, good question. And I respect that. I know, As a detective no in the in the homicide unit, we, myself and Detective Anderson, we got to base our investigation on evidence and facts. Okay, not only just statements. So yes, you're right. Keontre running his mouth on this tape. It is what it is. It's, it's worth. It, it's this is what it's worth. But I also go on what Unique Anderson told us. I go on what John Tortorella picked you out of a photo lineup, and who is, who is, who is he's that? the guy that was in the apartment that Unique called on your phone. I go on the fact. I go on the fact that I called, thinking I was calling you meet that day. I talked to you. Said Arian backed me up on that. He said he was in the car when you answered. You recognized who, my voice. Who said it? D. Okay. I go on those facts. I go on the shell casings that yeah. were recovered from the scene. Are pretty much gonna match the shell casings we just recovered from your car about ten minutes ago. And I go on based on All what right. Trey Thomas told me. So yes, you're right. I need so to take I'll, your statement. I want. Yeah, I want you. I want you. But your okay. statement has to back physical evidence That's what I'm and saying. sworn testimony from witnesses and involved people in this case. That's what I'm saying. I promise, so I promise. right now, let me tell you what's let me tell you what's happening. I got people putting a gun in your hand and you pulling the trigger. True or false? False. Okay, then you need to tell me. If that's false, I, I you, you need to tell me why these people were picking you out of a photo lineup, why Unique would tell us that you were in your car, the Mazda, and you left his house to drive to these people's houses right. as he called them. You, got it right you need to explain that. You got it right Yes. Yes. The Mazda, right? Yes. All right. Now, I want. I told you this from the beginning. I want you, since they said, since he said that I came and pulled up to his house in my car, he said I pulled up at night. I promise to you, I want you to go check the tapes. I promise to you, I did not go see Unique. I promise to you. What tapes am I going to check? Can the cameras, this camera, but I've been in the house plenty of times, spinning out of his house all the time. It's taped everywhere. Like, There's no cameras at his house? The gas station. What gas station? His gas station is by his house. Okay, well, there's ways around that. I'm saying. Can you I, I promise. Let's explain this then. I, I'm, I'm trying to explain. You know, you keep putting in. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, I'm listening. This is why you want. This is why I. Well, I'm listening. I'm going to go full time. I promise. I did not. I did not. I did not go meet up with me that night. I promise to you. I promise I did not shoot in no apartments. I promise to you. I promise that was not with him. I promise to you on everything I love. I'm not even that person. I swear you can ask anybody. You can ask anybody. I'm not even, that's not even me. I okay. promise to you. I promise to you. you can ask anybody in the world. I, and, I, and I understand anybody what you're telling me. World. But you have to understand this. Do you know how the court system works? No, well, I don't. Okay. You're going to go to court and you're going to have a jury. And they're Clay County citizens. And we're going to present all these facts. All right. And a reasonable person is going to not take an explanation for you, from you while all this stuff's occurring. Like it would be very, it would be, it would be easy for you to say, Detective Callan, okay, I was there. I, listen to me, hypothetically, we went up there to buy some weed. I had money because Unique even said that you Snapchat him a picture of some money. We had money. We we're going to buy weed, which whatever. I'm not here to remember. I told you before, I don't judge you. You know, if you were smoking weed, that's up on you, and uh, you're still young, so that's on you. And man, the people who thought. They got stupid and slammed the door in her face and freaking DeAndre got pissed off and started shooting in the damn apartment. And, and man, I, what am I supposed to do? I ain't gonna call the sheriff's, I'll tell them my brother. 
But because he says he shot on this tape, he says he, he shot, he but he also says you shot. I was not, no, I swear to God. So you, you can ask anybody in this world, I swear to God, that's not even. But you, but the problem I have with this conversation we're having is you're not, you're not even man enough to put yourself there. And when I know I you was, were there, I wasn't because you need to say I came in his house. I was never there. I swear, I never got my, <coughs> I never got my fifty dollars from you. I never. I, I can tell you this: your phone, because I pulled the records. Call Jonathan Porcarella's number. I promise I didn't. I promise I didn't. I pulled it. I, I subpoenaed I, the phone I, company I and said, who, send me the even, records. I don't even know who he is. No, you, and you know what? That's how I'm truth. His number. I'm you're, you're telling me the truth because Unique said, let me have your phone and Unique used your phone and called. I've never seen Unique. I promise you. He told me that. Why are you going to listen to me? Why are you going to listen to me? Because, I'm okay, you, let me, okay, let me back up. So Unique tells me, he said, all right, let me wire your phone. I'm going to call this guy. I know John Tortorella's number because he's a victim of my case. So what I did so what, tell is me. I took John Tortorella's anything, number. Listen, if anything, why, why, why not call him off his phone? Why not? Why didn't you need to call him off his phone? If, it, if that's Unique. It's, home, a, it's a 610 number. And I called you and I talked to you on that phone. So oh, Darian backs not, me up on that. Listen, listen. No. That day that you walked out of here and Sedarian walked in in handcuffs, he went home. Yeah, I know. Because he went straight he came, to the house. Yeah, he came out. He went home because he told me the truth, or parts of the truth. And I went home too. Mm -hmm. I told you the truth. He said, Detective Calhoun, because me and him worked on previous cases. You know, um, so, all right, listen. Cisco? You don't, you don't believe me? If you said D went home because he told you the truth. He told me some of the truth. I went home because I told you the truth, right? You went home because I didn't have anything to hold you on. And the, the investigation was still very early on going. But, all I, I had at that point, I all I had at that point when I brought you in here, when OSS stopped your car and I brought you in here, all I had basically is unique saying you were the one that he sent over there. I needed to know if you, I needed to help you to see if that was true. But since then, I've been able to pull your phone records. John Tortorella's number's on your phone. What's my number? It's, it's in the case about the 610 number. I don't have a 610 number. Look, man, I called that number thinking it was unique's and you answered. And I didn't know who you were. And I said, you need there. You said this ain't unique and you hung up on me. And Sedarian yes. sitting in the car next to you when I call, and here's the here's the thing that sucks about this whole thing. Sedarian helped me on another shooting, so me and him have had a lot of conversations on this other shooting. He recognized my voice on the phone and said, "Why is the tape come home call Nate?" So when I got Sedarian at the conference table, I didn't even tell him that I called you. He says, "Hey, why'd you call Ace the other day?" I said, "What you talking about?" He goes, "I was in the car with him. You called him. I said, man, I thought that was Unique's phone. That's why I called." He goes, "No, that was Ace. I was sitting. I been, this is a back group when I, we talked before." I said, no, I thought it was Unique's phone. I was trying to find Unique because they tell me Unique's the one they called. They said, no, that was, you called Ace. He answered the phone. He talked to you and hung up. No. So I said, well, I need to pull them phone records. So I did. And lo and behold, there's John Torquerell's number on your phone where Unique used your phone and called. So look, here's the deal, man. You never called my phone. You never called my phone. I did. When he was with me. You never called me. I did. He was sitting right beside you. He, he was the one that told me. I didn't even tell him I did that. All right. So here. You get a new nickname because of all the stuff he tells. I did not have that conversation with him. I know. 
Okay. He's talking about how unique told on y'all. Did he know y'all's real names? No, he, he, he know all the, he know everybody. Mm -hmm. I know that when I was little, it's yep. just, it's just it's So here's the thing. That's not the only thing that I've got. This is a tip of the iceberg. Okay, he's told on a bunch of stuff that y'all done. All right. But this 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 crossing shooting over here, this apartment, that that hits home. That's Clay County. Okay, he's told about it. Some other, a lot of other stuff. You're getting an opportunity today, Kenyatta. To be honest, if you didn't pull the trigger, if you didn't have, if you didn't do what that man just said you did, I need to know it because as of right now, I promise that the evidence that. stacks against you that you you sh you shot up that apartment. I promise I did not do that. I promise to you. I promise to you. Promise what did you do? I didn't do nothing. I swear to God, I promise to you. I promise to you, I did not do nothing. I promise. I promise. I already told you that. I'm not even that person. I swear to God. Okay. Well, tell me about a car. Tell me about a carjacking that happened at the apartment complex. That Sedarian got caught in the car the next day. What carjacking? It's on. It's on here. I never carjacked nobody before. I promise to you. You and Boozy. I swear to God. D got caught in the car the next day. I promise to you. I never. I swear to God. I never. This is. I never carjacked. Yeah. This is what you gotta understand, bro. This, this is this is where this is me. going. This is me. I you can't even look at it in the face. I can't. I'm gonna get you right now. I swear to God. I okay. Let's do something simple. Look, let me talk. Let me, let me look in your face and tell you. I promise to you. I do not. I swear to God. I never called Jack nobody before. I never shot <coughs> nobody before. I promise to you. Let's do I'm something not even simple. Type of person. You just call anybody and ask anybody. So you're a good outstanding citizen. I swear. This, this is going. I'm, I'm saying. I'm, this is going to take a while. So I'm going to just put this in because it's going to have to boot up. It's going to take a while since since audio. Audio conversations is not your thing. We'll do video. Because Deontre's stupid. This is actually Deontre Thomas's phone that we got when he got arrested. And he's dumb. He likes to film shit. So we'll, since you're not too prone to talk about audio stuff, and this is going to take a while because this phone has a lot of details on it. Um, Let's go ahead home here, okay? And I'm not even really interested in this video. It's, we're looking into it, but this is going to wake you up a little bit and realize this is this is not this is serious, bro. This 350 crawl, this shooting at John Tortorella's apartment, and the little carjacking y'all did with the U U Uber driver. That's mild compared to what's coming down the pipe. Because DeAndre has got a problem with his mouth. See, when you go to jail, we control where you go. We control that. We control who you talk to. We control every movement you've got. We control it. So it just so happens DeAndre got, got put in a position where there were some professional snitches. All these boys, that's all they do. Try to save their own asses. And we have to just give them a recording device and say, have at it. See what you can figure out. And he's got diarrhea of the mouth. And he's talking about a whole lot of stuff. Can you know, this these cases we're talking right right, right now? No. This is a, this is a check your temperature conversation. Because the other stuff is on this tape. It's all on you, bro. Depending on how much you want to talk about. Depending on how much you want to save your own ass. It's serious, Kenyatta. Mean, this is not. Know, this is I not understand. no shoplifting case. I understand. Case. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yes. Did, did this whole video y'all put out get drive some attention from law enforcement? Do we start looking in to find out? Okay, what what is the young gang involved in? Because they got guns all over this video. Yeah, I mean that did. This is gonna take a while to prove. Takes a while because there's so much data. On it. <coughs> but what you need to understand. Is this this little investigation we started? We started picking up over and well, they did this. We already knew that. They've done this, and now this shit's happened. And right in the middle of our investigation, Downtrey tries decides to go and kill somebody. So that kind of stepped up our game a little bit to get him in custody because we can't just have people going around and getting and shooting people. But you know what's funny? Is that whole conversation. What do you think he told us? So these little cases we're talking about is is minimal. It's just, it's basically to check your temperature to find out how honest is Kenyatta going to be. Because I don't only have you in here to talk to you about stuff you've been involved in. I'm here to talk to you about stuff that other people have been involved in to see if you're going to help yourself at this point. Because Sedarian ain't telling us the whole truth. He's minimizing his involvement, pushing everything off on you and uh, Boozy, Trey. Obviously, John Trey's got diarrhea of the mouth. 
So when I told you earlier I wouldn't lie to you, today's your day. And trying to explain your way out of all this stuff, John, is not going to work. This is going to take a while. It's, it's only a little bit. A lot of stuff on this phone. A lot of videos, a lot of pictures, a lot of text messaging. Basically, what this ha what this does is anything he deletes off his phone because he doesn't want people to see, I still see it. Um, but as I'm browsing through this the other day, just trying to find neck, heads, or tails on a lot of stuff in here, there's a video in here of you in a fist fight. And a bunch of people start fighting. And then all of a sudden, damn boozy goes to shooting. And people running everywhere, shots being fired by me, it's just a damn shootout. And he's videoing the whole damn thing. And then y'all run back to your car. And he, I don't think he realizes at this point that he's still videoing because he's running. And then Sedarian's little ass is talking. Somebody got stabbed, blah, blah, blah. I think just come. And like I said, I'm not really interested in this because this did, this happened over off Collins Road in a place called Highland Lakes. But JSO is interested in it. But I wanted to show you this just to let you realize that this, this shit's getting serious, bro. And the evidence is just stacking up to the point where, I mean, it, it, it's crazy. But you say you're not that type of person. I'm not. Well, so, so, but, but Sheriff Daniels has basically taken a group of detectives and formed them together and told us we do nothing. Homicide detectives, narcotics detectives, burglary detectives. We do nothing but focus on the young and gang. And that's all we've done for the last month, month and a half, two months. Every waking hour, we've, we've watched you when you didn't know you were being watched. We followed you around. We know who you're associated with. I got, I got boards pinned up on my wall with everybody's face, where they're at, what they're doing, who they're involved. This day was coming. You just didn't know which day. And tell me this. I use I need white to me. This is tell you a lot. I need white to me. What, what do I need? This is tell you a lot. What do I do when you watch me? What do, what do well, I Well, I mean you've been all over the place, really. I'm I go I go to work, I come home, I got I got leave home, I probably go like my my friend house will stay the apartment over. Dion this, and Zontarius? I go to their house. If I'm not with their house, I go with my girlfriend. What did you do last night? Last night, I went to a little, what did you say? After work. After work, after I work. I went to my brother, my Jay Barbershop. Where's that at? Down on, uh, what's the street called? 17. Right Where else did you go? Roosevelt. After I left the shop, I came home. After I came home, I, go, I ain't go straight home. I'm not. I went to Flip House. Who's St. Tavis? Yeah, Flip. I went to his house. I was gonna give him his, I was gonna give him thirty dollars because we posted all we have from the video. We put to our video. So my brother Mark J, he gave me our money back because we was gonna get the stuff from my mom and So we went to Flip house. I mean St. Tavis house. I went to his house and like he gave me like three twenties. So he was like, I can't give him change. You know what I'm saying? Because three twenties. So he was like, let's go break it. I like, what you think it's gonna eat with your money? Like, yeah, I said, so we might go to Burger King. Went to Burger King, he got his, I got me some, I took him back home. And right there, I think I went straight home. I went, I then went home. I then went home, home whatever. My mama said she needed to go to her class. Where's your class at? Down on, uh, what is it called? Yeah. College? I don't know what it's called. So you're talking about the college down there in St. John's? No, it's right. It's not, it's not a college club, but I'm saying, I think that street called College. Mm -hmm. College Avenue. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Up there by Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Her class right there. I think we're joining her. I'm, I'm not sure. So uh, I took her to her class and after that, I went to uh, my brother, my little brother's house. Where's that? Right there by, what is it called? What's the part it called? Lindsay Terry. Hmm? Lindsay Terry. Lindsay Terrace? Yeah, but I went like that. Then you're talking about your brother, who's that, Royal? No. No. Y'all don't know him. Who is it? He's the he's man with the car. You don't know him. He's very really well. I went to him, he went to talk to me about something. I talked to him. Something like that. And then I went. I said, I went to go back to my mama because I was going to go straight home. But then I was like, no, I'm just going to go back. He said, he caught me and said, yes, I'm talking about. So I went. 
What are you talking about? Hey, just talking. It's like, I hit Sunday. Last that we were going to or something. So you want to tell me about that. After that, I was going to pick my mama up. And after that, I went back to the house. And went to the north. I went to go pick up my cousin. And he would take him and get some money on the north side. Who's your cousin? You don't know. You don't try me. You don't know. I know you don't know because nobody knows. Yeah, I took Tori. You know Tori? Tori? Okay. Maybe it's a ditch on my house. But yeah, we have to get some money. Get some money? What does that mean? He want to get some money. From where? His people. His people getting some money or something. He's saying he needs some money. Because in case he has no money, that's people getting some money. They want to get some money. Well, uh, Back, he went to go to other people out get some food. So I took Tori and get some food. I got to Tori and get some food. Drop, Are you saying Torian? Yeah. Went back home. What's Torian's last name? I don't know his name. Not my birth. We not blood. I just. We not blood, but. Okay, I don't got no. Like, I really don't have no family. I don't have no family down here. I do. Only family I got my mom. My and your brothers. brothers. And my uncle. And my other family. And my auntie. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Indiana. Mm -hmm. In Chicago, Indiana. So, but yeah, after that, we came, I came home. I came home. And then I went back to Flop. Then I went back to Flop. What were we paying them a visit here shortly? Oh, we should be talking about music. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you said we'll be paying Jason a, a visit shortly. Huh? But they aren't already knocked on his door. What happened? Jason. We have detectives going there. We have detectives going to Dion and Flip's house. All right. Oh yeah. Your bro, your brother Kevin. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <coughs> now I left Zan. I left Zan. I was on like ten something. Ten something. I wasn't going. I wasn't going to get some heat, but like when my, the way my hair like set up, set up, like my hair like, like it's a piece missing, so my hair like be bouncing out. So I was like, nah, I'm just gonna go home. Still getting pulled over. So I went to, I went home, and I just, I went home, like 10, I got home, I like 10 something. I went to sleep for Yeah. Well, what are we going to find in your house? The shit, Shouldn't and not, it's two different. You're not going to find nothing. What are we going to find in your car? You're not going to find nothing. We already found shelter. Yeah, you're going to find one. That's, that's about it. What else? That's it. I ain't, I ain't got nothing. I don't have nothing. They're gonna tear your house apart. You know that, right? Yeah, now. I see what they're doing. Every, every, I mean, air vent, shoe box, yeah, I know. pants pocket. That's your mama's house, right? Yeah, that's my mama's house. So you being her son, yeah, and your mama not having any criminal charges right now. I'm not criminal charges. Yeah, you do. You're. We have arrest. You're not going home today. You're going to jail. Yeah. So because your mama could potentially go home. See yeah. ya. I don't know if they got her here yet or if she's still on scene. Um, but your mama potentially could go home, have to clean her house. But to prevent all that from happening, if you tell me just what where everything's at, we'll just go find it. I don't have no. Where's the guns at? I don't have no gun. Where are all the guns in the video? No, no. I don't have no gun. Those props. <laughs> props, bro. <laughs> bro. Dorian or Dion Williams is holding a gun in that video. It's black and tan, nine millimeter, Keltec. That gun was found after a shooting occurred at your apartments the day after Boozy got shot. It was in the video because informa information we got that in the the gun in the video is broke. Something's wrong with it. Well, the gun we found is broke. Something's wrong with it, and it might what happen. You said what? They said information we got from that gun in the video saying, hey, there's something wrong with that gun. It's broke, something wrong with it. Well, it's come, lo and behold, the gun's laying on the ground in front of your apartment building next to a backpack. It has the same damage to it. So we have that gun. Yeah, I got fingerprints. Bro. No, I'm saying, I'm saying. Kenyatta, that's a world that you want to step into that if you won't make me prove my case sitting in this room today, you might not ever get out of jail. Remember what I told you while we're sitting here having a conversation.
Okay. Well, we just recovered a 40 millimeter, 40 caliber Glock and a nine millimeter Taurus from your bedroom upstairs. I uh, know. <laughs> Let me tell you what's fixing to happen. Ask one, ask one, ask one bedroom. Glock. Let me tell you what's fixing to happen. Oh, the Glock 40, I already know, was used in the shooting on Wells Road because I took all those shell casings so and I sent them to the alcohol, the backbone firearms, and they told me it was a Glock. So I'm going to take that gun that we found in your bedroom and I'm going to fire it. And I'm going to take them shell casings and I'm going to send it back over here. And I guarantee they're going to match. All right. And if they don't match, can I go home? They're going to match. Can you But they don't, can I go home? No, you're not going home. We have arrest warrants for you. You're going to jail. The conversation we're having in this room right now is to figure out how long. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a very patient guy. I've been doing this 20 years, man. You're probably the 10,000th person I've talked to in a room like this. I've talked to people that have killed people. I've talked to people who killed babies. I've talked to people who killed several people. Okay? My patience is running thin because it seems like, you know the definition of insanity, right? You keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. I keep thinking that maybe one day that somebody will walk through one of these doors and they wouldn't have done what I thought they did. I'd actually talk to an innocent person in here, but it never happens. Because usually when we walk you through this door, we already kind of know 75% of what's going on. Now, the part, the 25% we don't know is if you give a shit. That's one thing. And I would put money on that you did because remember what we talked about before, you were very respectful to law enforcement. We've watched you on video maneuver around the poker room from around old people and stuff. You're very, you're very respectful. So I would have said, he probably gives a shit. And the other part of that is, is just why? Why? Why does an innocent baby have to sit in a high chair watching cartoons eating her dinner and have to worry about a fucking bullet hitting their headrest of her high chair? Why? Why does an Uber driver who goes out and works every day of his life trying to make money want to go home and get jacked in the parking lot and his car taken? Why? Why does an apartment complex, people that are just working every day, paying rent, just trying to get by, have to worry about fucking Beirut? Bullets flying everywhere. Why does Clay County have to worry about a gang called Problem Child Entertainment coming to Wells Road and shooting up people? Bullets don't have names, man. When you pull the trigger, you're accountable. That bullet better, we're accountable. If I, if today, the Clay County SWAT team would have shot you, they're accountable for every bullet they shoot at you and they better be able to justify why they're doing it. Y'all don't play by the rules. What I'm fixing to show you is a total disregard for human life. So the why, I'm tired of asking it because it don't make no damn sense to me. It don't make any sense. And y'all just bounce around like it's no big deal. You know, you know what my real question was when I watched, first watched that video? Honestly, who the fuck was on the other side of the camera? Because I would, I would have not stood there because I know y'all didn't. <laughs> so I wouldn't have stood on the other side of the camera because I know y'all didn't do buddy checks and check and make sure all the guns were unloaded. I've already been told, no, you just bring what you got. We didn't check them. You don't understand. There's rules. There's rules. If you want to go out and you want to shoot up PSE or PSE wants to shoot up you, do it somewhere where nobody else can get hurt. That's the rule. Go out in the middle of the damn woods and do it. You know, honestly, I'll be honest with you. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Clay County Sheriff's Office wouldn't even give a shit. But when I got people that are in the line of fire, they're innocent, go to work every day, you get my attention. And the wives get thrown out the damn door because there's no answer to it. But it always boils down to this. Who's going to be a man? You're damn sure a man in the street when you're bouncing around firing damn guns everywhere. But when you get in front of somebody that's talking to you and trying to make sense of it, the manhood goes out the door. What's the first thing you did today when, you, when the Clay County SWAT team snapped your ass up? Want to know where your mama was? Well, you know what your mama has to endure now? A piece of four inch glass in between her and her son. But you know what? You know what's better than that? A piece of four-inch glass. When she comes and visits you, she's going to be able to sit in a chair and look at you through glass. No more hugs. No more of that. But you know what? At least your mama gets to look at you through glass, and not have to look at your gravestone. 
because you're playing with fire. The PCE is the most violent, most heavily armed gang in Jacksonville right now. Do you think them fucking people are going to stop? We're here today at an expedited rate because me and my bosses were nervous that they were actually coming. I got a question. No. Blood for blood, right? That's that's the that's one of the that's one of the laws of the street. Blood for blood. You really think? Mm -hmm. that, do you really think PC wants us to arrest DeAndre Thomas? Do you think they wanted us to arrest him for the murder of Zion Brown? Do you think that's what they wanted us to do? Hell no. They wanted his ass right there on the street so they could take care of him themselves. Whatever y'all did to them, and Zion came down, because you know as well as I did, y'all know, y'all know who shot your boy. And y'all exchanged gunfire with him. Look, man, I'm going to ask you a point blank question. You're standing next to your brother. He gets shot. Who shot him? When? When he got shot. Your Trey. brother? Yeah, Trey got shot. Who shot him? I was running. I well, heard, shot, I well here's this is kind of the funny part because you. Trey seems to know who shot him. I promise to you, I would run. I don't. I don't know. No, I don't know nobody from PC. I don't know no people. I'm, why does Why would be with Trey? The only person, the only person I know is Fulio, and that's just because he rap. Charles Jones. Yeah, that's only, I don't know because he rap. You know what I'm saying? It's like a song. So, so you're standing next to your brother. Your brother gets shot. Obviously. Shit, he's probably, we probably need to hire him as a damn intel investigator. First up, Obviously, he knows who shot him. First up, when we, when, we, when we was walking, when we was walking, the shots came from behind. I start running. I start running because I, I'm not going to stand there. It's true. I know. I not, hope that you would. Yeah, I want to be trying to, I'm not trying to look. I mean, you got some sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to try to turn around and see you. You know what I'm saying? Who's shooting? When I hear the first shot, I start running because I know how gunshots are. I start running. Boom. I turn around. Like I, When I turn around, I don't see him next to me. Like, I don't see him running with me. So I turn around and I run back. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm running, I'm running. You can ask the man who was, who was, who there right there. He, he didn't tell you that I was running around looking for him because I couldn't find him. I didn't know where Trey was. So when I was you know, I, I just happened, somebody said, he in the bushes. So I look in the bushes and I see him. That's Do you I'm realize that correctional officer wouldn't have lived in that building, wouldn't have come out and put a tourniquet on her leg? You'd be going to his grave just like my books. You said, that would have died. Who? Trey would have died. The wounds that he sustained during that gunshot, if he didn't get that tourniquet put on his yeah, leg, I know, I know, I know. he would have died. I know, that's why I was thinking about And we would have been working a murder. Because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, I never seen nothing like that. I, just, I, I don't, I, I had him in my arms, like, I had him, like, cut. I had him in my arms. When the man came out there, he just put the thing on his leg. Yeah, but I didn't, saved his life. I didn't know he was shot at, though. So the guy, the guy that you're holding in your arms, and he's pretty much dying. Because if that guy wouldn't have done what he did, yeah, yeah. he'd have died. The I, guy you're holding in your arms. I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even see what he was shot. And we won't even go into the fact of the events that happened therefore. But the guy that you're holding in your arms is now in jail for murder. And the guy that's in jail for murder has run his mouth. Now I'm going to give you something. He probably doesn't realize he run his mouth. You feel me? It's not like he sat down in front of me and said, Detective Calhoun, let me tell you this crazy shit happened. He doesn't realize, he probably doesn't realize he run his mouth. So when this gets brought to his attention, he's going to be pissed. <coughs> but it doesn't change the fact that he ran his mouth. You know, y'all y'all play by your rules, we have to play by ours. Ours sometimes are a little sneakier. So, but doesn't change the fact he ran his mouth. Doesn't change the fact that we just recovered a Glock 40 caliber handgun with a 30 round magazine in your house. Doesn't change the fact of what witness testimonies we have and what on what other evidence we have. Doesn't change any of that. Now's the time to make it up. This is on his phone. I can't make this shit up. Who's that? That's not me. Okay, who is it? What what happened?
situation like, I'm saying, like yeah. I said this happened in Duval County yeah, I, know. I don't know what was been yeah. reported or not reported so tell me the scenario of what happened right here they were fighting who was fighting them right there you just seen but uh, tell me who though can you I don't know explain this they, they were right, them two right there who was fighting them two right there who were they Jeremy no. Jeremy yeah okay they were fighting Jeremy's fighting who now Jeremy's your boys right not your me. side no, not who's on your side The other boy. Who's the other boy? My brother. Who's your brother? Trevon? Yeah. Okay. He was fighting. Why were they beefing? I don't, I don't even remember. I, like I said, I, don't, I swear, I ain't, look, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't even know why they were beefing. Okay, that's, like, and, that, and that's explainable. Like, I, like, over a girl, some stupid shit. I don't, no. They look at you, deserve, where did this, this happen over Collins Road over there at Highland Lakes? So y'all went over there because Trevon was gonna get in a fight? Yeah, they they will fight, like, they were pushing, they fought. Okay. So what what happened? Why did the guns get brought out? Why did all the shots fired? They started shooting. They started shooting. Yeah, the other boys started shooting. Well, DeAndre shot because that's very clearly gunshots coming from his hand. No, that changed it. DeAndre didn't shoot. I promise to you. I promise. They start the other boys, they start shooting. Yeah, yeah, they start shooting. Who they got stabbed? The other boy was in the video. Who's that? My brother. Javon? No, no, it's not my real brother. That's his name, John. They, John. Uh, yeah, they always tell me that. They who's John? Who's John's? What's John's real name? John. John what? I don't know that. What's he go by? John. And Boozy didn't shot. No, he didn't. Because it's very clear on there that I think he did. I didn't. No, you can run it back. Look, he didn't shoot. He didn't shoot. The other people start shooting. We start running. This is an example. I'm trying to get know, you to understand I'm trying to that this know. shit has happened all over Jacksonville. I'm, look, I'm not, I'm not, I promise to you I'm not lying. I promise you did not shoot. I promise. Okay. Do you ever watch anything that, um, like CSI or Discovery Channel, anything that- No, my mom do watch it. Okay. Do you understand that the law enforcement officers, departments, we have labs that we can send evidence to and they analyze the evidence. We took the shell casings from 350 Crossings, along with all the other shell casings from every scene we have, the shooting at your apartment, the shooting where Boozy got hit. Um, we took all these shell casings, because it's physical evidence, it's what we see on the ground, it shows us that a shooting happened, there's multiple different calibers, so obviously some shell cases over here, some shell cases over there, show us that a volley of gunfire, an exchange of gunfire between two parties. We take all this physical evidence and we give it to the feds, and we have them analyze it. And we've got those results, which is another reason why you're sitting here. Tell me about the shooting at Dollar Tree 
on Oregon Forest Boulevard. Bounce you. Mm-hmm. Y'all got into it with somebody, and y'all left showcase <coughs> all in the damn parking lot. I don't know. Not him. Because those shell casings in the Dollar Tree parking lot at Ar- Arlington or, or on Argyle Force Boulevard, where y'all got into it with somebody and shot it. Where, that, where Dollar Tree is? Ar- Ar- it's on Argyle Force Boulevard. I don't have the exact address. So, so listen to me now. Those shell casings match forensically, like for, like science. Mm-hmm. Like I can't make this shit up. Match the shell casings at the Crossing Boulevard shooting. Mm-hmm. Okay. The shell casings match other crime scenes in Jacksonville. So when I tell you that this this room is getting smaller, it's getting smaller. The shell casings that we took from the from the case, mm-hmm. the, the casings were mm-hmm. your down trick got shot. We've compared those. We now know who those belong to. Shell casings at your apartment complex where there was an exchange of gunfire. We've compared those. We now know where those come from. This is chess. You understand the game of chess? I never played it before. Okay. This is chess. We're just moving pieces around, filling in, filling in blanks. Where, where, you know, where does this belong? Where does that belong? And these chess so pieces. All that, the, so all of them, all of them shell cases met. They all met the judge. The yeah, the, we got forty caliber shell casings at this scene. Forty every, caliber shell cases at this scene. Forty caliber shell casings over here. Forty shell casings over here. About six different places, and they all match. Now we have a forty caliber Glock. And one of the other things they're able to tell us in this scientific examination is these shell casings were fired from particular weapons brands because when you fire a gun whether i don't have my own to be a glock the firing pin, the firing pin hits the bullet different than a smith and wesson would hit that a beretta would hit even though it's the same caliber it hits different so they're able to look at this and say hey these are glocks these are this these are this and now i've got a glock in your house that we preserved for prints, DNA, all that with a 30 round magazine, which kind of explains, because one of the questions we have is, damn, I mean, I carry, I mean, shit, 13 plus one in the pipe. So how am I getting 18 and this and that? How am I getting all these showcases on scene? Well, shit, ding, 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 ding. 30 round magazine right in the clock. That explains it. So, the evidence is mounding. So you're in here in this room today, and I'm gonna give you a minute, and I'm all for you again if you want something to drink or something to eat. I've got crystals right here, we can go get you something to eat. But I'm gonna give you a minute to absorb all of this, and then I wanna sit down and have a very man-to-man conversation about what's been going on. Feel me? You sure you don't want to eat? I'm good crystals. I'm gonna get you a soda, water, whatever you want. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, your mama's tied up right now. Why's she tied up? She's with the detectives. We're still serving the search warrant. We're still searching your house. Another blanket. You cold man? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of cold man. AC hadn't worked in months, and all of a sudden today it's working. There you go. Y'all talking to my boss, right? Uh, the, yeah, definitely did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Can I, it's time to be a man, man. I, it really is. I mean, you got your family down there sitting in the damn street. Can't even get in the house. Your mama worried about you and worried about what's going on. And, you know, they're continuing to pull evidence out of your house. And somebody, somebody is going to be accountable for that. So your family's fixing to get drug into this. And probably the members of the family that don't need to be drugged into this. Can 
know. Just taking out your house. That's taking out of your house. Your car was on the way here. They're bringing it here to process it because I have a search warrant for your car too. You're dragging people into this that don't need to be drug into it. Mainly your mom because it's her part. What your mom will say when we have to go to her and we have to ask her, what well, you need to explain this because Kenyatta said he don't know nothing about no. What's she gonna say? What's your brother's gonna say? There's a lot of people in that apartment that are in a bad position right now because you're not being responsible. And this 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 bad dream is gonna become a nightmare, bro. You're in a position today where you can you can make a lot of this stop. Stepping up, being a man, taking some responsibility. Stupid mistakes. Nobody got hit at that 350 crossing shooting. Nobody got hit. people that are fixing to be put in positions they don't need to be put into and you can stop it. Your mom would be number one. I know you're close to her. You do stuff for her. She does stuff for you. You've put her in a bad spot because now she has detectives at her door with a search warrant using a SWAT team going in her house looking for evidence to been using crimes and we found it and now somebody's got to somebody's got to take ownership somebody's got to step up and take ownership I mean, your mom's not going to do it because your mom shouldn't have to because I don't think your mom is running around shooting at people but somebody is going to own it and you're in a position right here today in this room that you can make that stop And that's just what we found right now that I'm getting phone calls and being reported and ph photographs sent me. They're still searching, bro. They ain't done. They won't be done until that apartment is searched, top to bottom, front to back. Everything is searched. Every air vent, every, everything. And then when they're done with that, they're going to search the outside in the woods on the port, you know, anywhere, anywhere around there. And then they're going to search your car. They're going to do that here. Crime scene evidence, evidence techs are going to do that here. And they're going to take everything out of your car. They're going to remove the seats. They're going to look for every little thing they can look. They already said they're showcasing in the car. They can see that without even getting into it. And yeah, you're going to go to jail today. And you're going to get charged with which, what you got charges on you right now for. You've been charged with accessory to attempted murder. But we're going to continue to work. <coughs> and the sheriff is going to say, Detective Calhoun, just keep focusing on that what you're doing. And I'm going to keep focusing. And the more I focus, the more I dig, the more I find. We're going to send these guns off to the lab. 
We won't send any of these shell casings off to the lab that we found in your car. And anything else we find, we're going to send it off and we're going to get analyzed. And then I'm going to go to the north and I'm going to start talking to my my partners at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And we're going to start putting two and two together on all these other crime scenes these shell casings have been in on. And we're going to start putting two and two together on stuff y'all been doing in Duval County. I might, it might take me six months, it might take me a year, Kenyatta, but I promise you this. I will not leave any stone unturned. You will be my number one project. But today you have the you have the power. You have it's in your hands to make that stop. Anybody you've associated yourself with, your boys, I won't stop till they're in jail. Anybody that's in that video is a target. Shit, I'm going after the producer of that video. And I know who he is. You ain't the only right video he's ever filmed. But you're in a position today that you can step up, be a man, own what you need done, <coughs> and stop the bleeding. Unique's doing it right now. Unique's right here. Right here. They're on the side of this wall. He's in a room just like you and he is he is charged in the same case you're charged in. He's admitted to setting up the drug deal. He's admitted knowing that y'all were going to rob him. And he's identified everybody in the car. And he's going to jail for his part. People selling the drugs went to jail and are still in jail, fixing to get sentenced. Because I don't condone any criminal activity that surrounded itself around the shooting. Not when you shoot up an apartment with innocent bystanders. I can't justify that. I can't answer for it. There is no why to that situation. 12 month old baby almost got killed, came within an inch of her life of her parents having to bury a child. Our sheriff is from Duval County. He's retired Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And he's seen the, the direction that Jacksonville has gone in the 35 years that he was a cop up there. And we've had conversations and he says, not under his watch is Clay County going to turn into what Duval is today. So when it comes across his desk that we've had multiple shootings, carjackings, robberies, you name it. He said, put a stop to it because this is how Duval 35 years ago started. Just one little incident here and there and here. And now all of a sudden they got a full out freaking war up there. People get killed every day. And I tend to agree with him. I lived here. I grew up here. I went to school here. I lived here since I was eight years old. I don't want my family growing up in a county that's turned into what Duval has. We're not hard people to get along with, you know, that we're very fair. But you put a lot of people at risk and you've put your family at risk. And only you can stop it. Because from this day forward, I don't have to worry about the young and gang shooting up Orange Park. I don't have to worry about them shooting up Jacksonville. I can actually rest now, not worry about following you knuckleheads around Clay County and Duval County and pulling surveillance and getting phone calls when I'm trying to be with my family on vacation that, hey, one of y'all killed somebody. That's over. I don't have to worry about that anymore. All I have to worry about is sitting behind my desk, looking at these cases, networking with these other detectives, and filling out charging affidavits on who I'm going to charge, who with, and what crimes. That's all I got to worry about now.
you before this is all said and done, Ken, if this is the way you want to play it, you will get sick and tired of coming down to the booking room and getting rebooked. Not to mention, Duval County hadn't even had a crack at you. They won't come get you. The people that aren't a threat to me will get deals. They'll testify against you. And we'll move on. As life should. But a lot of that can be prevented today. I've shown you a little bit just to kind of wake you up and let you realize that I'm not bluffing you. Hide behind a blanket or not, King Young. But you know, let me give you one scenario. There's a huge difference between you driving a car over and trying to buy some weed, one of your friends doing something stupid, than you doing the thing, you doing the thing stupid. It's a huge difference between you standing there when the trigger is pulled and you pulling it yourself. Do you understand that? Huge difference. There's a huge difference in you taking a human being's life and you just present when a human being's life gets taken. There's a huge difference with you being a cold-blooded murderer and going out and putting a gun on somebody and pulling the trigger than you defending yourself. There is so much difference in those two, those couple scenarios I've given you. A matter of walking out of the jail or doing life in prison. These are some of the decisions that you have a very, very short period of time to make. Because I'm going to be honest with you. When I'm done with you, I'm done with you. I don't want to get any calls from attorneys saying, oh, well, now Kenyatta says he wants to talk to you. Because it's too late. At some point, it's going to be too late. I'm not going to want to talk to you. And those differences that I'm trying to explain to you is not going to matter. Whether you were just there or whether you pulled the trigger is not going to matter. But I'll tell you who it will matter to. It's going to matter to your mom. It's going to matter to you. And it's going to matter to people who care about you. Because the difference of having Kenyatta home and being able to have some quality of life and the difference of him just having an inmate number for the rest of his life and walking around in bars and being able to see his mom you know, whenever she comes and visits him through glass That's what today's all about. Today's not whether you did it, if you did it, because I'm not asking those questions. When I when I get somebody in a, in a position that you're in right now, I don't ask, did you do it? That you will never hear that boy that those questions come out of my mouth. Because I don't need to know. I, I'm not asking if you did, I know you did it. I'm asking why. I'm asking what your involvement was. You know. Is theory A or theory B correct? Theory A being you pulled the trigger and theory B being you were just there and somebody else pulled the trigger. So there's going to be a point in time in your life in the very near future you're going to regret the decisions you've made in this room. If you don't get this stuff off your chest no more, you're going to have to live with it. You don't seem like a personality that can just take this stuff and live with it. You don't seem like you're just cold-blooded. Two, you don't have, have to deal with your family. Just like DeAndre's going to have to deal with his family. But I don't think DeAndre has a parent like you've got. I know D doesn't have any parents like you've got. Because he's up in jail begging for commissary. He can't even, his mom won't even answer the phone. He's asking you for commissary. He's asking Jason for commissary. He's begging Jason to come visit him because ain't nobody come visit him. 
as you get. So he ain't got it. So there's going to be a point in time where you're not going to be used to him anymore. Jason's not going to be used to him anymore. DeAndre's not going to be used to him anymore. His, his, his close-knit family, the people he called family, aren't going to be used to him anymore. You know, we had to prove a point to Sedarian. See, Sedarian was in the Duval County Jail. And I know, I know you're, going, you're going to remember this. And you're going to know I'm telling you the truth. Sedarian was in the Duval County Jail fixing to get out. I ain't even going to lie to you. I stepped to him. I offered him, I offered him a damn free biscuit. He took it. He told me everything. But, you know, I can't just take his word for it. I got to go back to my office. I got to back it up with physical evidence. You know, stuff that he told me. I got to make sure that he's telling me the truth. And he was. And then he got out of jail and he was supposed to work for me. We were going to take down the young in gang. He was going to tell me everything. We were get, we going to get it done. Well, he had a little change of heart because he got on the street. He got around his boys again. He realized that, you know what? I ain't been around him. I ain't been with him since when he was hungry. Y'all have. So he decided he wasn't going to do nothing. He wasn't going to work, which is fine. I have no problems with that. Y'all sat on the back porch with his ball headed, and y'all filmed a little video. And one of my detectives walked right past you when you were filming it. Walked right past you. Identified identified the people who are on the porch, and lo and behold, the video gets posted on Instagram. Well, Sedarian made a mistake. He decided he didn't want to work for us. That's fine, whatever. I don't want him in my way, so I put him in jail. He got caught in the vehicle. Y'all car, carjacked. So I put him in jail. But now he's had time to sit there and think. Begging Jason to come visit him. He's been asking for your number for I don't know how long. I just, I'm supposed to take people to my inside at the same time. Yep. But they told me something. The people told me some other time, so I... I was, supposed to, I was going to dance in this room, but people, his people yeah. told me something like, if you send him 25, I can't send you 25, I got to send him 50. Well, he probably stole the booking fee and all that. But So he's been sitting up in jail, nobody's been coming to see him, nobody's been talking to him. He, he talked to you a little bit, and I guess he called his brother, Little A, and Little A called your way around who he's talking to. But anyway, you got on the phone, you gave him his number, gave him your number or whatever. He's, but he's been lonely. Now all of a sudden I'm getting my phone blown up by his attorney. And we'll be talking to him this week because he's want he's want to proffer. Which means he wants to sit down between the attorneys and he wants to work it out and then tell us, you know, and go to work. And I've learned recently that there's some stuff he can really tell. Some shit that might open up a whole new can of worms. So we'll be interested to talk to him. I ain't even talked to Dick Downtray yet. Because I want to want to talk to you first. But that'll be the next stop. I'll go to Downtray and I'll talk to him. And uh, we'll talk to him about who shot him and you know, we'll we'll let him play victim. And then we'll talk to him about all this other stuff. You think, you know, he's already said it. He's already told us. So then I mean, it's just a matter of going over it again with him and getting his actual statement, and not just some recording. And then we're going to step to Justin Pritchard today, Dion, Centavius today, Trevon, your brother, Quan's already been, he's with the detectives right now, your mama's with detectives right now. The spotlight's on you. Remember, you're the head of the snake. Sever the head. Body quivers. You said I'm the head. You're the head. You're the head. You're the head honcho. Why Grand Poopa. Why that be the head? Because everybody tells us that. Because there's people I've talked to. You don't even know I talked to. You said like, I'm the head of what? You're you're the main guy. You're the leader of the young men. I'm man. not. I ain't even started it. You I'm started not, it. I'm not even who started it. That's just a music. It's a musical. Well, you know what's funny? Because you say it's a musical. But it's because it should be YMG musical. Yeah, you say it's a music group. But the police told me that they got to change the YMG. They got, matter of fact, they got Young and Gang, they got the, and the, um, they got a copyright for, pay, for music. Yeah, but here's the thing about it is, Florida State statute says if you have a group of three or more individuals mm -hmm. that are committing criminal acts together with same symbols, colors, 
etchings, whatever you want to call it. They have a similar handshake that, and they're committing criminal acts to further the game. They are considered a criminal street game by the Florida State statute. Well, guess what the Youngin Gang is now? You're a certified criminal street gang. And every, all of them have certified several members. So per Florida State statutes, they're all gang. Might as well be the Crips, Bloods, Latin Kings. Same, no different. And everybody we've interviewed, but even people got, outside of this. They got music, they got music thing and copyright though. Okay, but yeah, okay. But it's, it's a musical. If, like, if the Florida State that. Seminoles, and I'm going to suggest them because I went to school there and I know you like the Florida State Seminoles. If the Florida State Seminoles football team decided they're going to go out and start committing criminal acts and they're going to call themselves the Seminoles, and on Saturdays they're going to wear the same uniforms and they're going to go to the same stores and they're going to do the same stuff and they're going to use all the minute money and proceeds they've gotten for committing these criminal acts together, well, guess what the Florida, the state of Florida could do? They could register them as a criminal street gang. Just because you're a music group doesn't mean you can't step over that threshold. And that's what y'all did between the shootings and the robberies and everything else. And like I said, you got a very small taste of what's on this laptop. Very small. I wanted you just to hear and see just enough that you understood that these crackers ain't bullshit. And I use that term loosely because y'all have used it a whole lot. But once again, you were sitting in the driver's seat. Just like you sitting in the driver's seat leading your boys around, you sitting in the driver's seat. Because when I'm when we're done painting this picture. You want to look like Charles Manson. They want to think that you are the head. I mean, you run shit. And not only am I going to paint that picture, I'm going to have a whole lot of people paint their own pictures that are willing to come in and say, that's him. He's the leader of the young and gang. He's the one that said we need to do this. He's the one that said we need to do that. He's the one. Because if there's people I've talked to, you don't even know I've talked to. They're sitting in the Clay County Jail right now that y'all been feuding with. And we locked all of them up. That was our other project. This was a two-fold project. We had these boys and y'all, and we locked every one of these boys up. They're all locked up. So we're done. We can X them off the list. Now we're going to only focus on y'all. And that's kind of your downfall because you had six detectives completely 100% dedicated and focused on you. If I watched that Go to War video one more time, I probably could sing the damn song myself. We watched that video frame by frame. ID'd every single person we could ID, ID'd every gun we could ID. Frame per frame. I know where it was shot. I know who shot it. Every case that we all have been involved in has been picked apart by six detectives, not just one, like how it's normal. You sign up one detective, go work your case. A group of detectives have picked this case apart. It's, these cases have been worked to the point where they would have never been worked like this if it wouldn't have been for that video and for y'all being an organized group. These guys wake you up in the morning and they put you in bed at night. You have been shoulder to shoulder with some of these guys. They walk by you when you're filming the day when D got out of jail and you're filming a little rap thing on the back porch. They were standing there watching. Y'all didn't see them? A little video on Instagram with D on the back porch and D's rapping. He's got his bald head. We just got y'all were on the back porch over here there at 610. Detectives are watching y'all film that. Now we didn't realize y'all were gonna post it, but y'all posted it on Instagram or something. All of your all social media has monitored every day. The people you're all beefing with social media is monitored every day. Because we had to make sure the PCE weren't coming back to Clay County to, to retaliate on Zion Brown's death. And we had to make sure y'all weren't going up to Jacksonville and doing y'all's thing. 
Now, did we miss some stuff? Absolutely. But are we following up on the stuff we missed with now and catching up? Absolutely. I would honestly say over the last year's time, Ninety percent of the crimes y'all committed, we know about. We know about the weed man in Oakleaf. The fifty fifty k y'all went after, that y'all didn't get. You used the splat from the Uber driver that D got caught in the next day. I mean. It, you're bleeding, son. And the only way you're going to stop it is to stand up and be a damn man. And say, you know what? I made some mistakes in my life. My family doesn't need to suffer for what I've done. And you know what? That needs to stop. What do you think that apartment complex is going to do to your mom when she find, when they find out what we, what, what we found in that apartment while we were there this morning? What do you think they're going to do? We'll throw our ass out. Where are all them kids gonna go, man? I would not doubt it if your mom just turns and goes back to Indiana. So what's that gonna do with you in the Florida State prison system? We gonna exchange letters? Are you listening to anything I'm telling you? Listen. Kiana, I would not be in this room talking to you right now if I didn't think you'd do some good. You've got to understand that. But there's nothing I can do with somebody hiding under a blanket. I know you're cold, man. I know it's cold in here. But... That's <coughs> the way this is going to work. I need 100% honesty about these incidents. I need 100% honesty out of you. It's gonna sting a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. When you say sting, what you mean? You're gonna get charged with some stuff. But remember what I told you, there's a huge difference between you pulling the trigger and you just standing there. Huge difference. I tell you, I can tell you the difference, a lifetime difference. But if you pull the trigger, I can work with that. Remember, nobody got hit. We just got some holes and some siding. The question of why is still there. And you definitely don't need to be sitting in this seat by yourself. Because what happens is, is that everything gets focused on you and the people else, the other people who are involved in it, still out on the street. Well, not the entree. But there's two other people who were in that car that time. If they were just there and they didn't shoot, I need to know that. I know one of them was your little brother. He's 17, bro. He's a juvenile. But the crimes that he's been involved in, he could get adjudicated as an adult very quickly. And that's that whole keep digging part. I leave you today, I keep working this case. I keep digging, I keep digging, I keep digging. And other people can get charged. But you can stop all of this today by taking some ownership. You said it was two other people in the car? That's what I'm being told. Unique said there was two other people in the car. Quan was one of them. And there's another guy. Other people in the car said there's two other people in the car. You know, you know, you know, it's crazy. Twain. You know, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Remember when you first brought me? You first got me? Mm hmm You know what you told me? You said that yeah, Unique said it was only just me and Trey. Well, you know, sometimes you got to put handcuffs on somebody. To get him to do the right yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Okay. You need some of this room right here, that's and he's I'm, going to jail. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, he, there's nothing you need I to figure out. He's just, Kenyatta, there's nothing you need to figure out. You know where you were, and you know what you did. Okay? Don't worry about all this other stuff. If he's not telling me the truth, then you tell me the truth. you not telling me the truth. Well, here's the problem. If I, I was like going slowly things, on unique statement, I then I like, might be able to agree with you. But I got you at the scene because I got two people picked out a photo line. I just feel like everything I tell you, you're not listening. I'm listening, but if you're telling me something that's not going alongside my physical evidence, 
I'll witness testimony. Unique's a co-defendant, bro. But I got witnesses, people that were shot at, that say that he was there. He was there. Okay? I've got your phone being used to call this num this guy's number. I've got shell casings on the scene that have been compared to other shell casings where I already know y'all were involved. So, yes, is Unique telling me the full 100% honest truth? Probably not. He's probably more involved. He's probably more involved than what he's telling me. Have you ever heard the you ever heard the terminology? Minimize your involvement. Put it off on on them. That's I feel like he's just putting it off on me. Just go. but you were there, bro, and that's the hump we got to get over right now. We got to get over it right now, Kenyon. Or this is doing neither one of us. I mean, have you ever beaten a dead horse? I mean, we can sit in here and we can talk for three weeks, but we got to get over that hump. You were there. I got two witnesses at the scene that picked you out of a photo lineup. I got two witnesses at the scene that picked DeAndre. I got DeAndre telling it. We got to get over that hump. I know it's tough, man. You're in front of two detectives. You're in trouble. It's hard. I get it. And it burns. It's probably burning you to the core that DeAndre has been tripped up like he has. I can't change it. Bro, DeAndre didn't come in and sit down in a room like this with me because I haven't talked to him yet and tell me me and Ace went and did this. He got tripped up, bro. It sucks. But you know what? Sometimes I always call it a game. Sometimes y'all win. Sometimes we win. It just happened. We won this time, bro. Can you lie? If you didn't pull the trigger, who did? Say what? If you didn't pull the trigger, who did? I don't know. Put my damn child. Let's get over this hump, bro. I'm serious. I was not there. I see. Look, I'm trying to tell you. You're not. You're not listening. All right, I'm listening to you. Like everything I say don't even matter. It I, does matter. Okay, but I can't. I, I can't telling. hear lies, though, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not lying to you. Nope. I just feel like what, like. Like, why me, though? Like, why everybody want to say I did? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why everybody got to say I was there? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's why I'm over Because you were there, okay? That's the thing. Now's the time to save your ass. Everyone's saying you pulled the trigger. What? Your own boy says it. You want know, you know, to tell you what? Uh, here, I'll give you a little bit more. I just forgot why everybody wants to say you know what? You know what they renamed you? Re -named you? What? Because Deontre's talked so much stuff in the jail about stuff y'all done. They named you Restlawn. What's that? Restlawn Cemetery? That's the name of a cemetery. These boys, these boys in there said, damn, Ace, like, man, y'all need to name him Restlawn. He got more bodies than. Just hit play. You'll hear that again, though, Kenyatta. That's the point of this. That's the point why it's on this record. That's no, the point why he's being arrested. You'll hear that again in court. He's going to tell a jury that. You need to wake up, son. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I don't... He, he'll wait, and then after he gets off the stand, and you'll be sitting there in your nice Sunday best, and he'll get off the stand, and he'll walk up, then they're going to put John Tortorella on the stand. John Tortorella is going to tell him, yeah, I received a phone call from Unique. Unique said he sent it his friends by. Can you identify anybody in the courtroom that was at your apartment that day? Yes, the defendant. They're going to walk his ass out. They're going to put the other girl on the stand. What happened? I answered the door. Who was standing at the door? This guy. Who else? Was the defendant there? Yes. 
And then they're going to walk this little ATF lab analyst up there and they're going to say, were you given any evidence in this case? And she's going to say yes. And they're going to say, what happened, what happened with the evidence? Well, I analyzed it. Did it match anything? Yes. And then they're going to walk her down. And then they're going to put me on the stand. And we're going to talk all about the case. And they're going to say, did you have a privilege of interviewing Kenyatta Bullock reference this case? And I'm going to say yes. And they're going to say, what did he tell you? And I'm going to tell them exactly what you told me because I ain't going to lie. And then the jury's going to be sitting there going, you mean to tell me after all this? And, that, and they're going to watch everything in this case. They're going to see it all. The case reports, the witness statements, the deputies that responded to the scene, the little girl's mama that the baby almost shot. She's going to testify. I'm going to say, where did you live, ma'am? I lived in an apartment down here. Well, John lives up there. Why was your apartment even hit? Because the reckless display just spraying damn bullets all over the place. And all this is going to happen in a couple days' time, and your life is going to flash that quick. And then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to wake up and the judge is going to say, I found you guilty. And they're going to sentence you. And all this is going to be going through your head going, damn it. If I just would have told them what the truth was, that I didn't pull the trigger or that I did. And that if I showed some remorse, something that this jury could see, to see that I'm not an animal. Right. Well, they're not going to see that part. Because you know why? Because your defense attorney is not going to put you on the stand. So they're not going to hear how you talk. They're not going to hear that you're very well spoken. They're not going to hear about your family background. The state's not going to put you on the stand because they don't want you to even get in any of that in. So you're going to sit there looking like you do, dressed in your best Sunday vest, and the state and this uh, jury is going to sit there and wonder, this guy's a monster. Who would do something like this? Well, they, how else are they going to think? I, I, if everybody, if and I would not be damned if they don't right, show the video. You, you watched me, right? That's wrong. And you say you watched me, right? Everybody say they watch me. If you see what I do every day, I do that every single day. I promise I do not eat it. I promise. I, my name just always get random because everybody think I run stuff. I don't run Your own nothing. boy, your best friend, your brother, put your name there. Your own peoples are going to testify. People that you call your blood, your brothers, they're going to testify because you know why? They want to go home at some point in their life. All this is coming out. And you're going to be sitting there the whole time thinking, and I don't, I'm not saying this just because I'm guessing. I'm saying this because I know this, because there's been thousands of people before you sit in this chair. I should have done something about this. I should have stopped this. I could have sat down with Detective Calhoun that day, and I could have told him the truth. I could have told him what happened, why it happened. I could have showed some remorse for this jury to see. Maybe work something out where I don't even end up in this seat. But it didn't because I thought I was smarter. I thought I was smarter than the sheriff's office. I thought I was, I thought I could just, I didn't open my mouth, I'd get away with it. Well, guess what? I get paid by the hour, bro. So whether I'm sitting here talking to you or I'm getting ready to testify in court, this is what I do. This is my profession and I'm good at it. And I won't think about you another day. He said five people. That's what he said. You told me two other people. Well, I'm now hearing five from his voice. You see what I'm saying? I'm not with him. I'm with I you. I know. I'm just saying, though. You see how you keep changing the... Like, well, I'm, I'm with you. I'm not with him. him. But he keeps pu putting you there. But there's one what? common denominator that Detective Anderson just told you. Yeah, Ace he, hasn't yeah, changed. No, Boozy hasn't changed. I know. I know. I, know. I understand it. Okay? I so, understand. like I said, somewhere in the... There's two sides of every story, saying, and somewhere in the middle is the truth. The fact of the matter, it does not change that you went to that apartment that day, and you've been ID'd for about two other people that don't know him. <laughs> if, if I was going just based on what you need told me, why wouldn't be having this conversation? I, I understand that. I'm just saying though, like, but two other people I, that sell weed and admitted that we sell weed. They gave me the weed. That's why they're in jail. Mm -hmm. They said, "Here's the weed." They're in jail right now. Those people are the ones that pointed you out, bro. You're not <coughs> somebody can just walk through traffic and not get recognized. It's not because you're famous on YouTube. It's because the way you look. You're very recognizable. Boozy's two feet from him at the front door. You're at the bottom of the steps. You know? I mean, come on. It's not like these are nuns that say, we well, weren't doing anything wrong. We don't know why they shot up our apartment. They said, we sell weed. They came to buy weed, and we thought we were getting robbed, which they, they were. And they slammed the door in your face. And you know what? It pissed you off. Number one, you weren't getting that money. You weren't getting that green. 
So he shot up the building. Just so happens, the damn building was ahead of other people living there. Babies. So let's get over the hump that you weren't there because you were there. My question to you is not, were you involved? Because I know you were. The question is, how were you involved? And if you're going to sit in this room and think that he didn't give you up, he put a gun in your hand? Because he has. That's what the entree's done. He's given you up and he's put a gun in your hand. And he said that you and him shot up the place. So you want to correct that and tell me the truth and give me some re give me give me some leeway on that I can prove that you're telling me the truth. Then I'll we'll, we'll roll on. But right now, as it stands, you were at the apartment. You pulled the trigger. You want to correct that and say no, that didn't happen. This is how it happened. And look, and, and give me some information where I can look and say, you know what, he's telling me the truth because what he's telling me is backing up evidence. I can prove what he's telling me. I can prove what Nick's telling me. I can prove it all day long. All day long. I, and I don't even have to get into the reasons why. I can prove it. I will sit in a court of law. I will stare at the jury and I will prove all day long what he's telling me. I can prove the phone call occurred. I can prove you were there and I can prove where your phone went afterwards. Because you know, there's this wonderful thing called cell towers. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you're in a position where you're dealing with a detective for eight years of my career. That's all I did was track cell phones. And I still do it to this day. And if you want to go down the road, what wasn't my phone, then we'll pull D in and D can walk his little happy ass in the courtroom and sit down and say, yeah, Detective Calhoun called the phone. I was sitting next to him. I recognize his voice because I've helped him on previous cases. I've been a snitch. We'll go down that road. And then they'll go pull my phone records and say, damn, he did call that number that day. Yeah. And then I'll pull that phone and say, when I called it, this is where he was at. And D can confirm and say, yeah, well, that's where we were at when we called it. And then I'll build my little map showing where that phone was at the day of the shooting. Was it in Unique's neighborhood? And was it on Cro was it on Wells Road? And we'll go all day long. And at the end, when you're standing there, wobble-legged, can barely stand up because the judge is fixing to throw your ass in prison. I just, I just, I just, so today's the day. I just don't know why. People are putting you there because you're there, bro. I mean, hey, if they throw you in something else and you weren't there, let me prove that. You say what? If they're throwing your name and other stuff, and I let me prove that you weren't there, but I can prove you were there. This one, I, I'm all about, I get it, I feel you. People just throw names out like they're free. But it's my job to disprove what they're telling me or prove what they're telling me. That's my job. This one I proved. So let's get over the hump and tell me the truth on what happened. It's time, bro. You, you, you drug your family into this. Your mama's drug into this. It's time to separate them. yourself a shot at life. Give yourself a shot at making something of yourself and doing something with yourself one day. Because as it stands right now, you ain't got a very good shot. Can you try to take that song? Why? I just want to, yeah, I'm going to tell you everything. There's nothing to play back. The, the fact of the matter was, you went there to his house, he used your phone, and you moved on. What do you want me to play? I just want to, I just want to, yeah. Who? We want to hear it from you. I mean, I don't want to hear it from him. If you're telling me he's telling lies, I don't I'm know. Not, I'm not, I'm feeling the peanut right now. against him because they sent him.
long clip and all that. Which is what they took out of your house. So you knew you were going to get rid of the bottom. So you sent him over John. And that was the plan from the get Okay. Wait. Can you say we're going to get out of the I'm looking at John here for you. John. I ain't telling you they don't suck. Man, it sucks. When people start running their mouths, it sucks. You know, I've worked narcotics for a long time. I've worked CIs. You know, that's what people do. They get in trouble, they snitch. That's what they do. Dope boys always have a card in their back pocket. You catch them with a bunch of dope, they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Got something for you. Always. We wouldn't be able to do our job if it wasn't that way. That's the way the game works. Pissed right now, I can see it. I just, I mean, it sucks. You're you, your own fan, I mean, your own blood. But I, I, I wanted you to know that he didn't come in here and look me in the eye and tell me. You have to understand that. I, understand. I don't want you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It sucks. It, it does. You got put, it, it, it sucks. Yeah, sometimes we win, sometimes y'all win. It's just the way it goes. You know, Sedarian's in trouble. Unique's in trouble. They're going to talk. Now's your chance. Don't take this on your own shoulders. It's not worth it. Because trust me, when this is all said and done and this dust is cleared and we're done and we're moved on, ain't nobody going to... Re DeAndre ain't going to be reaching out to you, you ain't going to be... Ain't nobody going to remember that shit. It's the way it's played. Every, the dust is going to settle. Everybody's going to get their lumps and we're going to move on. It is what it is. Today decides what those lumps are going to be. Tell me what happened. From the beginning, just tell me the truth. One time, and I promise you, you're going to feel better about it.
know, the people you've talked to in the past that told you you need to stay 100 and keep your mouth shut aren't in this room with you today. Bane will be here for I you, know, right? I, I, I know what I'm about you need to take care of yourself. That you, the person you need to focus on right now <clears throat> is Kenyatta Board. Take care of yourself, and you'll take care of your family in the same time. I know you call these people your brothers, and I know you're all tight. Man, I've been there. I've still got them today, but not your blood. I don't have my mama no more. That's a gift that you got yours. What happened? It's tough, man. I know you don't want to tell it. I wouldn't want to tell it. I can't imagine being in your shoes or your socks. I can't imagine. I would never tell you, man, I know what you think, I know what you think, because I don't. But you're a good kid, man. You, this ain't you. I mean, this shouldn't be you. But, but you were there. Something happened. It happened. It sucks. It, it was something bad that was happened. And you're caught. One thing I will promise you is when you get it off your chest, you'll feel a lot better. I'm good with it. Man, you got a lot of talent. I, I'd hate for you to piss that away. Me too. I want to. I mean, you won't get set down for a little bit. I mean, we can't talk about that. I mean, that's not something, I mean, we're not told at the very beginning. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to get set down for a little bit. Today? You want to do every day. Yeah. And then we're going to work all this out and figure out what, what the deal is. But I promise you, you ain't going to get set down as long as the <coughs> contract's going to get set down. But I think you need to be set down for a little bit. How long do you think? I don't know, man. It depends on you. We got a lot of stuff we no, got to talk saying. about. I'm saying. We got a lot of stuff we got to talk about. Is saying. it all going to depend on you? Now, if we walk out of this office today, and I feel like you've been completely honest with me on everything we talked about today, and we hadn't even hit on the, a lot of it, if 
I feel like you've been honest with me on everything. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one to kick somebody when they're down. You know, I'm very, I'm very fair and very easy to get along with. But I got to know that you are 100% honest with me on everything we talk about today. And as long as I get that feeling, I walk out of here, and, and the state attorneys are here, and they know that I know that I got that feeling, then well, it'll be worked out in, a, in the near in the future. But I think you need to be set down. I think you were getting way ahead of yourself. I think something very bad was fixing to happen to you. And I think that your mom's going to appreciate that you get set down for a little bit. I think these streets need to cool off. Exactly. I just feel a little bit. How long you I don't. I don't know, Kim. I, I don't have that answer for you. That's not an answer that we'll have. No, I'm saying you said. I'm saying from your, your point. You said you think I should sit down. I'm I just think you need to be set down. No, I'm saying. I just don't know for how long. But I will promise you this. This is something I can promise you. If we don't get everything squared away today, and I feel like you lied to me. I'm going to sit you down for as long as it's, I can physically possibly sit you down for. Okay? But I, like I told you from the beginning, I don't judge people, man. I don't, I haven't grown up with shoes. I don't, I don't know anything about you other than what I've learned. So I think you're a stone cold blooded killer. And if I look, if, if you get out and given time, you're going to go back to killing people. No, I think you've made some big mistakes. I think you got wrapped up in this damn these streets a little too quickly. I think you've associated with your, yourself with some people that ain't got no damn sense and are cold blooded murderers. So yeah, if I had to, if I had to give you an answer right now, you need to be set down. But the how long part is going to determine on you. Well, I mean, that's going to be on you, Kenyatta. Right now, right now, if we end this right now and I walk out this door, I'm going to recommend you get sit down for a long time. Because I'm seeing no remorse. I'm seeing you're not being honest with me. You're not telling me. And we haven't even gotten into the other stuff. So as it sits right now, I'm trying my damn, I'm, it's kind of it's like I'm, I'm trying, I, I, I'm beating it out of you, but I feel like I'm beating a turnip, man. I mean, I've given, I've shown you, I mean, you got to understand the respect I've got for you. I've shown you more physical evidence than I've shown any other defendant I've ever had in this, in this chair. You understand that? I have bosses, man. They're looking at me like I got three eyes right now. Why in the hell is Calhoun doing this? And I've known from the beginning I was going to do this. Part of my job is judging somebody's personality. I knew from the very beginning that if I didn't have something to show you, that me and you weren't going to have a conversation. You were just going to die, the die, the die. We were just going to. We could go three days around in that circle, and you know I ain't got the time, and you ain't got the time. So I knew from the beginning that I was going to have to have this stuff ready to show you. And there's other stuff. And once I know that you're fully cooperating, we're 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 getting along great. Great. I mean, we'll feed you lunch. We'll do whatever. We'll, I mean, we'll, there's a lot of stuff you could help me with. There's a lot of stuff that we need to talk about. And there's other stuff that we need to go through. But until I'm 100% sure that you're being honest with me and you are on board and we're talking and we're, I, I can't do that. And that paragraph we just went through is exactly what I'll tell the state and exactly what I'll tell the jury. Hey, he cooperated. Yeah, he made a mistake. He cooperated. Uh, I mean, showed remorse. He admitted, he admitted his involvement. Even though he didn't want to, but nobody does. I can't hold that against you. And you won't be painted this picture as a monster. You'll be painted as a human being. You just made a mistake. But we got to get over that hurdle. Right. You've got to tell me the story. It's got to be truthful. If you pull the trigger, I'm going to be quite honest with you. Listen to me. If you pull the trigger, you got to tell me it. Because nobody got hurt. I don't have anybody dead. I don't have anybody shot. I don't have anybody going to walk in with a bullet hole in them and testify that he shot me. I got two people that sell marijuana and large sums of it. But if, you, if you're not honest with me and I can prove that you lied to me, it's going to be worse. 
lot worse. Same as every, all kids, everybody's raised that way. Always tell the truth. If you lie, it's worse. Might as well, it's worse than what you did. You were raised that way. I know you were. If you lie to your, if you take the cookie and you lie to your mom that took the cookie, the punishment's worse, right? So it's the same in here. If you want it, if you, you tell me what happens, but you minimize your involvement and you don't tell me everything and I'm able to prove later that you lied, boy, we, we've wasted our time. Because I, even though I might be able to justify in my mind that hey, he was just scared, he really didn't want to admit this, these people out here don't want to hear it. So I got to hold truths, whole truths. And if somebody's lied, I, and I can go back and prove, well, this guy told me this, but Keanu told me this. But I can prove Keanu was telling me the truth. This guy lied, he's going to get it. I don't lie to people. I don't expect them to lie to me. So as long as you're completely honest with me, it is what it is. If somebody else lied on you and you're completely honest with me, but I can prove you were honest and I don't make no damn sense anymore. But the facts are the facts. Just like I can't go based on what you're telling me, I can't go based on what he's telling me. I can piece them all together. And if it all makes sense and the evidence is backing up to everybody's, I mean, that's what it is. If I want just one people told me, you'd have been in jail a long time ago. That night we stopped you, you went to jail. Anyway. Tell me the story, thing, huh? So you, so you, you. trying to overanalyze it and you're trying to find a way out. Well, I'm just and it's it's, 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 it's I know I understand and I get it, but it's very simple. I mean there's nothing I mean I, honestly you know there's no way out of this man. I mean the case that's it's built is is you're in a situation where yeah. You're, you're hurt and you can help yourself. And you're letting people help themselves out and hurt you. And you drove your family into this. What's that? That ain't gonna happen a day, bro. Remember the one thing I can't promise you is when you get it off your chest, you won't feel better about it. Because I know, I know it's been weighing on you, man. I read your Facebook post. I know the shit, all the shit that y'all been involved in has been weighing on you. I know Trey being locked up has been weighing on you.
But today, you're right here. It's time to take care of yourself, man. Gonna be. Bro, I can't let you go home. And only you can put yourself in the position where it maybe dictates when you get to go home. But it's not going to be today. Tomorrow. It's not going to be tomorrow. I told you, you're going to be sat down for a little bit. what's happening in this room right now. And I promise you some of those people got shorter patience than me. There's nothing to think about. I've given you everything that you... I mean, I've given you way more than I could give anybody in your position. I want to hear your side of the story. Did that just said You can't go out with somebody else said. <coughs> yeah, but I backed it up with witness testimony, picking you out of a photo lineup. That's that's court. I mean, that's admissible in court. Just because somebody comes in here and tells me a story, I can't go based on what they tell me alone. But if what they're telling me, I can back up with other stuff. Yeah, all day long. That's stuff like what? <laughs> Count it. Look at me. I have put your face in a lineup with six other people and given it to witnesses and said, did any of these people look familiar? And they said, yes, this one, and circled your face. I said, why does he look familiar? He was at my apartment the night of the shooting. He was coming up the stairs. Okay. Anybody look familiar? Yes, this one. Who is that? He was at the door. It's your boy, Dontre. When the shooting stopped, they looked out the window and seen your car going. And that's not only that's only one apartment. That didn't include all the other people. I understand. I got unique on tape. Yeah, that's I got DeAndre on tape. I got shell casings. I got a gun now. Phone records. Phone records. I mean, come on. I mean, do I need to keep listing stuff? I've got your car in my back lot, fixing to get processed. I'm not saying though. Ain't you in this cameras in apartments? No. It ain't cameras in apartments. No. Trust me, if there was, I'd have them. And I would have you at the apartment. So it ain't came at the office? No. I used to be a security officer there when it was called Mariner's Wharf. They're done. That, that stuff's expensive, man. Listen, Keontae, you got to help yourself out now, okay? Trying to figure out all the evidence and all that, we've told you, okay? You were there. Your boys put you there, too. You need to qu quit analyzing it and help yourself out. Right now, you just look like a I mean, cold-blooded killer. Thank you. Well, you look like a monster is what you look like. There's no remorse here. You're, you're trying to get out of this, and you're not. And this is what the jury is going to get put in front of. This kid has no remorse. He's not even admitting to being there. This is going to be a very re quickly returned verdict. Not to mention when the judge gets a hold of you. Look, you got no criminal record. You got a traffic ticket, right? Yeah, I paid him off. Okay, well, you got. Have you ever been arrested before for a crime? Mm -hmm. You ever been arrested for a felony? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I got arrested for that. Uh, job, my okay, that's traffic. 
So you, you have no criminal record. I know that because I've run a criminal history. So it's not like you're going to score out high and, and have a lot of, you know, basically sentencing guidelines be extreme. You're going to get set down. It's just a matter of how long. But I, I can tell you this: we leave here today, and this is the, and this is the way you want to keep it. This ain't over. I'll turn over every rock. I'll do every. I, I will work every case with here and in Jacksonville, and anything you've been involved in, you're going to answer for. If you can't be honest with me over this one case that I've given you every. About 75% of the evidence against you, I've handed it to you. And you can't understand that this is enough to convict you just based on what I've already given you? And then I, I don't know what else to say to you, Kenyatta, but I mean, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get you in a position to understand that honesty goes a long ways. If you can't be honest about this, then we're done. I mean, I don't know what else to do. So what's it going to be, man? There's a lot of moving parts in this operation right now. Stand up for me, you know. Hey, bye. Yeah. 